Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're gonna play The Few and Cursed, a curse chasing adventure. This game supports one to four players, it's for ages 13 and up, and the average play time is roughly 90 minutes. So, it's worth mentioning that this is our first time playing, and to be honest with you folks, the rulebook was a bit all over the place for me. I had trouble figuring things out. I was learning new rules every time I reviewed the rulebook. So I have a feeling we're not going to get everything right. But as is typical with my channel, my goal is to expose you to the game. And if you like what you see, then maybe you can buy it and figure it out better than I can. Okay. So um, here's a quick look at the box inserts. Um, I actually added a couple of baggies from my X-Wing collection because there weren't enough for all the miniatures and stuff in here. Um, these are little, I guess little bottoms for the, uh, for the miniatures. There's four player miniatures and you can choose a color and put it right underneath there, which is nice. So the other ones are in the box. Um, and there's some other ones that we're not using. There's, um, each player also gets a unique deck of cards based on the player that they pick. Um, this is, um, your Spanish. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> Maicenas? I don't know. Sure, okay. Maicenas. She's Puerto Rican, so... Maicenas. Sure, that's one of the characters, so this would be their deck. And then there's Annabelle. Annabelle is another character. She would have this starting deck of cards, but we're not using either of those two characters, so they go back in the box. In fact, here's a quick look at their character card. Um, one side is the regular side, and one side is the cursed side. As players do thing in this, things in this game, they may become cursed. Um, they track their curse over here, which I'll get to in a little bit, and they'll get different abilities depending on what side is flipped face up. All right, so long story short, um, there's some extra tokens that we're not using for this game, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. All right, so here's the rule book. It is uh, 32 pages long, but some of it is card reference, but uh, solo variants, cooperative. Um, it looks like the rules stop around page 25 or so. Um, so. Yeah. The object of this game is to get the most victory points. There is a track that goes along the outside of the board. It's called Grit. And its um, symbol is a yellow, you'll see this symbol from time to time on various cards. A grit is victory points, that's what this yellow symbol is. And here's a quick look at the other iconography. This orange is attack, green is movement, um, black is the bullet, uh, health is that. This curse is purple, money is a blue water symbol. It's a, it's a gripe I have, why just not use coins, why water, anyway. Um, trash card and draw card. Okay, so um, as far as what you're seeing here, this is the money slash water. This is the upgrade deck. There's roughly 90 cards of those. Um, the, there's a deck building element to this game. Each player starts with a uh, regular deck of cards uh, based on their character. But um, instead of there being a market, you're going to draw two every turn. And you're going to choose one to add to your hand and you can play it immediately. And then it'll become part of your regular deck as you continue playing. Okay, so that's the upgrade deck. These are artifacts. Um, there are artifacts that are seated on the board. Um, in a two-player game, it's one in each corner. I think in three or more, I think, no, I think it's like four players, it's two in each corner, or three, three or four players, it's two in each corner. But you're gonna have like two of the yellow or two purple, two red, two black um, of these tokens face down. And on the opposite side of these is an artifact. And you're just going to, whenever you take an artifact, from one of those four corners, you're going to find the corresponding card here, and you get to add it to your deck as part of your deck building. And these cards do special things along with your regular cards. Each player also gets one of these player mats. Um, I like how there's grooves, so, you know, I mean, there's, there's no grooves going this way, but there's grooves going up and down. Now, they are color-coded. The black cube indicates how many bullets you can hold at a time. Uh, so you cannot move your blue marker. Well, every player picks a color. I picked blue and she's the yellow. Um, but you cannot go past the black cube in terms of bullets and you cannot go past the purple cube, which is your curse. So you cannot do that. 
Um, your health is just, it's, there's the starting value is on the left here. There's a three, three, and zero. And this is your starting money slash water here. You're going to put your character curse side face down. All right, so there's that. Um, there's room on this board, well, off to the sides. Your deck would go over to the left. Your discard pile goes on the right. You can hold two objects, and you can also hold two weapons, at least two, two one-handed weapons or, or one two-handed weapon. Think of yourself in any RPG as being able to hold either two one-handed or uh, one two-handed. Any jobs that you might have and completed jobs. Jobs are like special things that you can complete during the game to earn extra stuff. Okay, so at the beginning, you're going to get one of these. You're going to set your board up appropriately. You're going to get your special deck of cards. You're going to shuffle them, and each player gets four to start with. You also get four job cards. Um, the jobs are in the upper right-hand corner of the board up there. It's kind of hard to see. This board is a huge hog. It really is. Um, but you're going to shuffle that, and you're going to give four to each player. Players are going to choose to keep two, and then the others go back into the deck uh, before the game starts. There is a wanted section over here that contains very basic monsters, like zombies. They're like no-named people, the bandit gang or whatever they're called. Um, they're two-sided, and you can choose which side is going to be face-up to start, but whenever you defeat one, you're going to flip it over to the reverse side and just keep defeating the same card over and over and over, back and forth, back and forth, flip, 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 flip. Those cards will never go away, so you can defeat them as many times as you want. On that card will tell you where they are located on the, on the board, like what location, whether it be the canyon or whatever. Um, it also tell you the attack strength needed to defeat it and the rewards for defeating it. Okay. Bottom right hand corner is a store. You're going to shuffle up the store cards and you're going to deal three face up here. Okay. On the left hand side is you're going to you're going to have to put this together. Um, there are most wanted cards and then there are like monster cards. There are four of these monster figurines that I put off to the side. Those are on the bottoms of these four decks. So at the, at the bottom of all four piles is one monster card, and they're like the big kahunas of the game. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna shuffle those monster cards up, put one on each space, and then you're gonna shuffle up the rest of the most wanted, which are like named people. Like you've got um, Alistair Fairweather here. And these guys are generally tougher than these guys over here. So think of these guys and, and the monsters as stronger versions of these basic monsters over here. So you're just going to deal out face down a bunch of those on top of those monsters there and then the top card will just be put face up so we can see what they are. Um, you've also got encounter cards in the upper left hand corner. One is a regular encounter card and one is a cursed encounter card deck. The, um, whenever you're playing the game, you may draw from either deck, depending on where you currently are at that point in time. And that is what the components look like. As far as how a round typically plays out, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, quick reference back here. Uh, during the first part of a round, um, each player is going to look at the top two cards of the upgrade deck, which is here. And they're going to add one to your hand and add and discard the other one. Simple enough. Uh, then we're going to move down to the encounter step. If you are in San Andreas, which is where your characters start in the beginning of the game, if you are there, you can either shop or you can uh, take jobs. Uh, you can either take two jobs. Um, whenever you take two jobs, you can choose to discard one of them, I believe. Um, or No, whenever you take two jobs from that deck, you have an optional ability to discard any job from your hand that you have, um, and you get the money cost. Um, every job will have a victory point reward and a money reward, but if you choose just to discard it, you can just discard it just for the money, but you won't get the victory points for it. So discarding jobs uh, is a way to get more money without completing them. Okay, So you can either draw two jobs from that deck and then optionally discard one from your entire hand, or you can go to the store and buy as much as you want. Additionally, you get one free refresh, meaning you can discard all three cards from the, from the store, put it in the discard pile, and then draw three more. You can keep buying as much as you want until you run out of money. Again, that's the 
the water slash coins that are over here. Okay, that's if you are in San Andreas. If you are outside San Andreas, anywhere else on the board, you're going to draw an encounter card. Um, again, some places will be cursed. So if the place that you're sitting on is cursed, then you have to draw from the cursed deck. If it's just if it's not cursed, then you draw from the regular. The encounter deck is usually like, okay, uh, there, there's three situations here, choose one, or you're there, do this if you're here, do this if you're here, do this if you're here. So you'll just follow the directions on the card themselves. After the encounter is done, and by the way, if, if both players are on the same space, or if multiple players are on the same space, you draw one encounter card and they all players observe that one card but it's each player's decision on how they handle it separately. Action phase. Um, then you can uh, play cards to generate resources and take one of these actions. Like I said, you're going to have four cards in your hand from your deck at the start of the game, and you're going to use those cards to generate resources by adjusting your sliders here. There's a health indicator, ammo, and curse sliders to worry about, and of course your money. You can uh, do one action, and that is you can defeat a bounty, meaning that you can try and defeat a bounty here. You can defeat two of the standard monsters over here, these standard zombies, whatever. You can do that twice, assuming you've got enough attack strength to do it. You can defeat only one of these per turn, and so you can either do two over here or one over here. Uh, recover an artifact. Again, if you're sitting on one of the corners, you can take that token and then take the corresponding card, whatever it says. Those are shuffled and just put face down. Um, rob another player. If you happen to be on another space as an opponent, you can um, automatically just rob another player. We'll get to that if we ever get to it. Encounter again. So um, typically you would encounter before this during step two, but if you want to do another encounter step, you can. Uh, you can camp where you gain one health. When you camp, you discard everything in your hand and your discard pile, and you just put it, you, just, you have to shuffle everything and uh, you start a new draw deck. Um, but there's a benefit to camping. Not only do you get one health whenever you camp, but whenever you are forced to um, shuffle your deck back up as your, new, as your new draw pile, you have to go back to San Andreas location. So in the beginning of the game, we don't have a whole lot of cards. So we're going to go out for a little bit, do something, and then maybe we'll probably run out of cards. We'll have to shuffle things back. And every time we do that, we have to transport ourselves back to San Andreas. Well, the, the meatier our deck becomes, the longer we can stay out here. But one way around it is to camp. Whenever you camp, you do not have to move back to San Andreas, and you also regain one health. Um, the character card action. Each character has abilities here, so you would just observe that if you want to take that action. Finally, during cleanup, you discard. Um, you can discard as many cards as you want from your hand, any that you haven't used. But you can carry cards over from one turn to the next. Okay, so you're going to discard as many as you want, then draw back up to four cards. Then return to San Andreas if you reshuffled your deck. Um, monster moves towards San Andreas. If there are any of these four big monster miniatures out, um, they would move closer to San Andreas. One of the game ending conditions is if one of the monsters reaches San Andreas. Um, lastly, pass the first player token counterclockwise. In this case, just uh, idly and then back forth, back forth. The game will end in a couple of ways. I think there was three ways. Let's go ahead and just pull that up real quick. Um, if three monsters have been defeated, the current round is completed and the game ends. If all of the artifact tokens have been recovered off of the board, the round is completed and the game ends. Or if a monster figure ever ends a round in San Andreas, the game ends. At the end of the game, um, you're going to score any jobs that trigger at the end of the game. Uh, worth noting, if you have any leftover jobs that you have not completed, you are actually penalized, sort of like in Ticket to Ride. If you don't complete a ticket in Ticket to Ride, you lose points. Same thing with the jobs in this game. But there are some jobs that will get you bonus points at the end of the game for doing certain things. Uh, players lose grit for every job they do not complete, which I just said. Subtract the grit value in the upper right of these cards from the player's score. Gain grit or victory points for every artifact card you've collected. The value can be found in the upper right. And the player with the most grit will win the game. Okay? So that, in a nutshell is uh, the few and cursed.
Okay, quick correction, and Idly actually caught this, so um, good job, hun. Um, I misspoke. It is not one artifact per corner in a two or three player game. It's two artifacts per corner. Typically, there would be three per corner, but in a two or three player game, you're going to remove one token. So I added an extra artifact token to each of the corners. They have to be the same color, though. doesn't matter where the colors are, so as long as they are the same color. And you cannot have more than one of the same color artifact. So if I were to move down here and collect the brown one, I would not be able to go down there again and collect the other brown one. Once I've got a brown one, that's it. That's, I can't collect any more brown ones, okay? Um, this might be a good time, since I'm zoomed in, to show you some of the spaces on the board. Um, you'll notice that um, you can move your character through different spaces. And if you take a look at the green spaces, that will tell you how many movement points you have to spend on the cards that you draw. Again, you're gonna have a hand of cards and there's gonna be movement spaces on them like this. You're gonna be spending these movement actions to move through any space with a green icon on it. If you move through a space with a purple skull, you automatically move your curse up one. And again, if you reach your curse threshold, you have to flip your character card over and uh, you have to observe that. If you take curse, if your curse goes up while your, if, if your curse goes up while you're cursed, you also take damage. And if you happen to uh, die in this game, you don't really die, but you lose victory points and you have to reset things and it's, it's a nasty. You, you do not want to get down to zero health in this game if you can help it. Um, there are also yellow spots that you'll be moving through. Those are the attack symbols. Um, you have to give up an attack um, action in order to get through that space without taking damage. I mean, you can you can opt just to take the damage if you move through that space, or you can get past it just by, by spending one of these attack. Again, you can spend these attacks on, say, your bounties, but if you're not going after a bounty, you can use these to help you get past those spaces without taking any damage. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Um, Ida Lee is the first player, so we're gonna go ahead and, um, I know it's kinda hard to see um, again, this board is fairly big, um, but I am the blue player here. I am Jebediah. I've got the blue little bottom here that you snap on. And that oh, is... Oh, so cute. Yeah, these are awesome miniatures, by the way. I wish they were colored, but I know it costs a lot of money to do that. I'll pay um, Who is that? Uh, Redhead? Redhead. Redhead. Just such a generic... Name. This is actually based off of a comic book. I've okay. never read the comic book. I don't read comic books in general. But apparently this theme is based off of a comic book. And apparently these two are good friends, whatever. Wow, okay. I had no idea. I didn't know either. Until I, I was watching the developer play this as an example. Oh, cool. I was doing my research. So, um, improvise. We're going to start with you. You're going to pick up two cards mm -hmm. and you're going to choose one to add to your hand. Okay. The other one gets put into a discard pile. I'll just put that here whenever you're done. Okay. Face, that's fair. So just to show you what she gave up, she gave up the Treasure Hunter card. If she were to play this, if, had she kept it and played it in the future, she would have gotten four money, but she would have gotten one curse had she played it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and draw two cards to add to my four card hand. Um, let's see, so these are my inherent deck cards. Jebediah, Jebediah, Jebediah. Um, so Jebediah, each character has different strengths and weaknesses too. Like she starts with no money at all. Her board starts with no money, but she's very strong from, from what I'm seeing. Um, Jebediah seems to be able to move around a lot. Um, and I start with a decent amount of money. I start with four uh, per, the, per that here. Okay, so I'm going to choose one of these, and I think I'm going to uh, keep this one probably because it just has, uh, I mean, that, that's a lot there. Or I can take this one. It's, it's what, which one do I want? Do I want two and one or three? Um, I've got move already. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the quick reflexes, and I'm going to keep that one there. All right, so now we move on to the encounter step. We are both in San Andreas. So starting with you, you're going to either go to the job board and draw two, or you're going to go down to the store. Now, you have no money, so it doesn't make sense for you to go down to the store. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend drawing two job cards. Can I just, can I... You draw first, then you discard. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
that way it gives you more opportunity too because what if you draw what if you really l hate those and want to get rid of one that you just drew okay so the turn so you always ha wait where are we in san andreas you either shop or you visit the job oh, oh, oh i see okay we are not out here yeah. to do an encounter yeah. we're we're in the city okay. so you're going to draw two job cards yes and then from those four you can optionally discard one for money. I am going to discard this one for money. All right, so you, that goes in the discard. Okay, oh, so yeah. just to show you what the job looks like. The reward is on the top. So that's four money and five victory points, five grit. And then on the bottom is what you need to spend in order to um, get that reward. She would have to spend seven movement in order to do that. Mm -hmm. And when you're spending stuff for these jobs, they are not applicable to anything here. It's like you're exerting, you're exerting yourself to complete this. So you cannot, if she, had she had seven movement, she would not be able to use that seven movement for that and seven movement for this. She'd have to choose one or the other. So uh, she's going to get rid of this, and she's going to get four money from the bank, uh, but no victory points. So that can go in the discard pile, and you will get four money. Okay. All right, and that's your turn. All right. And how, then... how, do you, how do you discard the jobs that you first took? Eventually, you'll again you'll draw more jobs and. Oh, nasty. Okay. Or you just try and complete them as best as you can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I see. All right. Now I cannot see what the what these are. Um, this is that's a five. I can't afford it. That's a three. Okay. So the <laughs> only one I can afford is the harmonica, which um, that's I guess I get one money every. This is an item which would go here. Um, if I were to buy the harmonica, that would mean a free money every turn, which is nice. Uh, so it's I might want to consider doing that actually. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to the store. Let's go ahead and put the five and the six back. I'm gonna spend three money to buy the harmonica. And this instantly refills. Yeah, instant refills. Yeah, and I can keep buying if I want, but I don't. Is there a one there? It's a six. Yeah, I don't think so. Now I do have a free refresh. But I'm going to leave it at that, because that is also outside of your price range, too, I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, so now I have an item down here, one of two. You have two item slots. Okay, so we've done our encounter, and now we move on to the action phase. You play cards to generate resources and take one of these actions. All right, quick correction, quick correction. This is not an item. I just realized there is a little symbol on the bottom right-hand corner of this card. That symbol matches your left, right, or double hand thing over here. There's little symbols. So this is gonna go in one of my weapon slots. And I believe I'll um, resolve this when I'm playing cards. Okay, so again, back to the action phase. We're going to um, play cards and take an action. So you, um, as the first player, you can decide how you want to play your cards, but you can only take one action. Uh, defeat a bounty, recover an artifact, rob another player, encounter again, camp, or uh, character uh, card action. Good lord. All right. All right, I think I know what I'm going to do. Do I? Crap, I don't know. Hold on. Can I see those most wanted yeah. cards? Mm -hmm. What are they? I will pass them to you. Thank you. 9, 10, 12, 12. Forget it. I'm good. All right, so... <laughs> okay. I'll just tell you what their attack needed. I mean, you get a lot of victory points, but... Okay. All right. All right. I got this. I got this. Hold on. What are those amounts over there? What? Over the, here? The six, attack. Six, five, four, and two. Six, five, four, two? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. I'm going to... But you have to visit that location wherever yeah. they happen to be. Yeah. So, okay, so here's a question. Mm -hmm. Do you have to be on this marker in order to land here, or do you have to pass you, this marker? You pass through it. Um, these are... You do not land on these symbols. You pass through them. So this is oh, a okay. space, and this is a space. Oh, and you'd be crossing oh. over it to get to the other one. Okay, I see. Okay, so I got one. Hold on. All right, I'm going to move two. All right, so you've got a move two. Yes. Okay. Move two, one, two. So, so you went, I, I would end up wait, here, you were, right? you were here, it's one, and then here is two. Okay. Now, that would and mean... Yes. 
Okay, so you got two movement and then one attack. Yes. So you can either give up one attack or one health or put down yeah. an attack card to negate that damage. I'm going, hold on, I'm going to double it. Curse myself to double this card. Okay, now it says on the bottom, copy the effect of another card you played this phase. If it's an artifact, lose a health. Okay, so you have to gain a curse yes. in order to duplicate a card effect. Yes. So just to show you what that looks like. The art on this is fantastic. No, try that. Yeah, it's very comic booky. I can see the resemblance mm -hmm. now. Really so cool. you're going to double the effect of this card, but you have to take a curse. So you have to put your curse up by one, which you did. So you're going to move it again uh, two more times, right? Yes. So it's one, two. So I end up here. Yeah. So one, two. Yep. Um, and now to negate these two, right? Oh, yep. Yeah, two damage. Um, I'm going to play that. Okay. So that has two. To attack on it. This is the redhead survivor card. Yes. So that negates that damage. Okay. And now you're on an artifact space. Yeah. Um, so now you can claim an artifact if I, you want. I do want to claim an artifact. Okay. So you would just choose one of those two face down black ones. And then I'll find the one. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> it looks like a boomerang. Sure. Um, let's see what that is. Yeah, boomerang. So this boomerang is added to her hand. Um, it's six attack and three victory points at the end of the game. You don't get the you don't get the victory points now, but you get them at the end of the game. So do I play it or where does it? It start? goes in your hand. So it goes right here. Yeah. So if I grab it, it's kind of a waste. Like when you. No, you can play it now if you want to. But what? Or you can hold on to it for a future round too. The boomerang. Oh, okay, okay. Just so as long as you have this card, you'll have the three victory points at the end. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I as see. long as you have it. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. You're going to look through your deck and all your artifacts that you have. Okay. I see. Interesting. All right. Um, is there anyone in Mountain Valley? Well, here's the thing, though. You already <laughs> took your action. Oh, yeah. That's right. So now it's your turn. Well, you can still move. You can move, take an action, and still move. Oh. But you can only take one action per turn. So you st if you have any movement cards left, oh, I see, I see. you could still move. Well, here's the thing, though. Before you do that, oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. There's two movement here. So you won't, you won't, there's, see, the, there's two greens. To get to the mountain view, you had to spend two, not one. I thought, it, I thought the one was to go over here. No, here, look. You're here, right? Yeah. One. Oh. Two. Three. Four, five. Oh, so I can't get. Do you have seven. another movement card? No, I don't. It stinks. Well, how about we'll just give it. So no, that, no, 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 no. We'll give it to you. No, because no, no, no. we already know that there's a boomerang now in the game. That's fine. We'll just. Well, can can you? How about this? Can I, like, save some movement points? Like, if I had, if I had like five additional, like a five movement card, like in my hand, could I have like moved some here, take an action, and then use the rest up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, you can do that. So instead of using your two, you could have used a higher one. I don't, I don't have a higher I'm just okay. asking so I can do double this up You again. could double that again and take another curse, but yes, so that would that would solve that problem. All but right. You well, would take another, you, you're, now you're at three, two. two curse out of three. And so, that's, the purple mark is my threshold, right? Correct. If you now, go, what's the four here? What's that red four? Oh, that, the purple, that should, that sh that's where it should be. Oh. The threshold is wherever the black space is. Oh, I see, I see. Or the red arrow. Look for the red arrow. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. So you've actually got two more spaces before you reach your threshold. All right. So so now I have one more movement space to do. Right, but you can't move because you uh, you can't. That's two right there. What a waste. But you got your artifact. Sure. Now, can I use cards for resources, or is that, like, another action? Um... What do you mean cards for reason? No, like you if can I had a blue card like Yeah, you yeah. can no, you can do that. Absolutely. The actions um, involve defeating a bounty or recovering an artifact, which you did, rob another player, encounter again, camp or character card action. I see. Is there anyone though from Mountain Valley, just to be sure? Um <laughs> this is Mountain View. Oh, yeah, it's he's there. Oh Mountain View. Oh. Ten it's ten attack. Oh man, alright. What's your passive ability? Four. Spend two bullets for four. Two bullets for four. Okay. Four damage. Okay. 
Mine is, you look at the jobs of another player, you may swap a job with them. Whoa. All right, so I guess the only thing I can do is this. I can get two more water. Two more, two more water, okay. Okay, so that's all I can do. All right, so all of these go into your discard pile, mm -hmm. which is over there. Mm -hmm. And now you try and draw up to four cards from this deck over here. Okay. Here, just move your thing <laughs> over a little bit. And I have the option to discard this one too. Uh, yeah, you can just... discard if you want, right? Yeah. Or you can hang on to it for I'll a future turn. Why not? Um, two, three. All right, so now you've got your hand of four. Yeah. All right, so now it's my turn for my action phase. Yeah. All right, I want to take a look at my cards. I should have um, five cards because I, again, I improvised one of them. Um, based on what I've got, actually, let me take a look at my jobs and see what jobs I need to complete. Uh, I, also, I also get one water from this space here, or from this ability, from this harmonica. So I'm going to take a free, free water. These are the ones I kept. Um, so if I can get to this location, I would get this. And if I can just use that movement, then I'll get that as well. Okay, so... Where are... Okay, so that would be there. Okay, so I need to find a way to get down there, if at all possible. I can do... Alright, so do I have enough? One, two, three. I don't have enough, but unless I curse myself, I'd have to curse myself to do it. Uh, maybe I should have taken that one card, that other card instead. Oh, here's a quick question. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Once this whole round is over, we all go back to San Andreas? No, only when you refresh oh, I your see, deck. I see. Okay. You stay there until you refresh your deck. Your discard pile, your draw pile runs out, you can't draw anymore, you gotta take your discard pile. That's when you teleport yourself back. Okay. This is just a two money card, so I'm gonna go ahead and just play that now to get two money. Um, this is a curse. I could use that for more movement, which I may do. Um, so, let's go ahead and just play all of them then. Well, let's do these first. Well, yeah, actually I'll play all of them. Cool. Okay, so this is three movement plus a curse to double that. So that would be five movement. So, um, so I've got one, two, three, and then this curse is going to double the two. So that's five. I see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And I wasted a movement, but I want to stop there and take my action. Wait a second. If you... Oh, you went this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, I passed through three of these attack spaces, and I have a three attack here. Mm. So that negates all of it. I also nice. take one curse... Because I, I use that. No. My curse threshold is three, so I'm going to curse sooner than you with my character, if I'm not careful. Mm -hmm. But I, I will complete a job while I'm here. Completing a job is not an action. It's just something that you've automatically done. The ruins of Palanquik, whatever. <laughs> um, so I would get four money and five victory points. So I'm going to go up to five grit, and I will take a five money... And I'm going to keep this job off to the side just to show that I've done it. Um, let's put that underneath, I guess. Okay. And... Yeah. I don't think... I have one one combat left over, but I don't think there's really anything I can do with it. So, with that being said, I'm going to just take the rest of that. Is there any one combat ones over there? One the, combat. Yeah, the wanted. Uh, no, six, four, two, and five. Okay, so I'm I gonna... believe if one of them flipped over, there wasn't one. It's all right. So I'm gonna draw four cards. One, two, three, four. There we go. I did not have to reshuffle yet. I didn't have to. I. I this is exactly four. All right. Nice. So now we discard what we want, which you may have already done. Mm -hmm. um, you draw back up to four cards, which we've already done. We. You. You did your cleanup step already, oh, and. Okay. Um, Return to San Andreas if we if you reshuffled, which we didn't. Monster moves, no monsters. Pass the first player token to the next player. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we start over again. Um, now we're going to improvise. So now I'm going to take as the first player. I'm going to take two of these cards. Um, out of these two, um, I am going to choose this one. Oh, I love that you can upgrade stuff. 
I didn't know that. Okay. And discard that one. Oh, yeah, upgrade prices. Whenever you're at the shop, um, the upgrade prices, for one coin, you can buy a bullet on your track. For two, you can increase your bullet maximum, so you can increase the threshold. For three, you can increase your curse threshold. Mm -hmm. And then for four, you can increase your health. It's weird is that it's not listed anywhere in the rule book, <laughs> except for this back part. Really? Yeah, it's weird. I looked. I mean, I, unless I missed it. But, again, I, I have a, an issue with the rule book and I'll get to that later but um yeah at least it's back there this is the most helpful part of the entire rule book is the, is the quick reference sheet out of all of the pages that is where I, I learned the most <laughs> you almost flipped the table babe. well I'm very passionate so sorry okay so now you get to improvise two cards so here's your two okay and now you go to choose one and um quick question Mm -hmm. when, during all that stuff, did you want to use your item? Were you able to use your item? This item? Yeah. No, that's during the play cards. We didn't do, we didn't, we're not there yet. We're not on the action phase yeah, yet. Yeah, but when you were doing all that stuff. What, I don't understand what you're When saying. you were moving all this. I did, our, I did, I, I did, that was the first thing I did, was I grabbed money. Oh, okay. Using my harmonica. Oh, I see, okay. Just making sure, just making sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What the heck is this? I don't know this 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 iconology iconography. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, I'm discarding this one. Oh wait, is it your turn? So you. No, go ahead. I already did. I already went. What's that? This is gain a curse and three draw three cards. Do you keep those three cards? Yes, for your hand, yes. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm hmm You can draw three more cards. Holy crap. So it's a way of getting more cards into your hand for that turn, but you have to take a curse to do it. That's rough. Do you want it? No, I don't want it. Okay. Oh, God, I want it, but I don't. Encounter. <laughs> so now we have to, uh, I have, I'll encounter a regular one. We're not on a curse space. Um... Uh, so this is, that's the cursed one, this is the regular deck. Alright, so we are where? I'm just in... These, yeah, I'm in the runes. Alright, so it says here, you attempt to translate an ancient tablet found beneath the runes. The text is dense and confusing. Will you trash a card from your hand to stay focused and succeed, upgrade any one of your stats, or move on from the ancient tomb? I will actually trash, and trash means remove from the game, I'm going to trash one of these cursed duplicated action cards because I've actually got another one. So I'm going to trash this permanently from the game. I'm going to just put this, I guess, under here. No room. And I will permanently increase my curse by one to complete that. And now your event, you're on that space. So now we have to draw one for you. The event? Huh? Oh, oh! You did an encounter. I did an encounter. Now you have to do an encounter. Oh. So. Um, so when, oh, so when you do an encounter, everyone does. Well, everyone. No, we're both doing our encounter step. I, as the first player, I did my encounter first. I am not in San Andreas, so I drew a card and encountered it. Oh. Now you are not in San Andreas, so you have to draw an encounter card and resolve it. All players do this every I turn. I see this. Okay, mm -hmm. sorry. You're fine. So you're in the what? Canyon? Or what is that? Mountain Valley. Mountain View. Okay. I think those are canyons. Are they? I yeah. thought these were canyons. Well, Mountain View is... I don't know what Mountain View is considered, honestly. Like, this one says canyons. So I figured, like, all these cracks were canyons. This one says ruins. I don't know what are... Oh! I don't know. This one says desert. What's desert? Desert is just a, a blank space, yeah. Yeah. See, canyons, like, look at the iconography. Oh, like a town of sorts? Yeah, it looks like a town. So maybe ruins? So ma well, no, maybe canyon is a town then. So what are all no, these? No, I would say, I would say ruins because they, it says here in ruins, a merchant appears to have set up his shop in these ruins. I thought ruins were the smoky ones. Yeah, well, that one says ruins. Yeah, see, that's, I, that's an issue with the rule book. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna find 
All right, so we're gonna make an executive decision here and classify the Mountain View as ruins because there's houses here. My space had little houses in it. There's houses. Is that a house? Uh, there's, there's a springs, it's water. I don't know what that is. That's annoying. Yeah, it is. So again, it's a failure on the rule books part to show which par parts are what. But we'll just say that you're in the ruined space. Um, a merchant appears to have set up his shop in these ruins. He greets you and sets out his wares. You may take shopping actions as if you were in San Andreas. Oh, cool. So you can shop now if you want to. I want to put this in the Discord file. Um, cool. And I still have to spend money, right? <laughs> yes. Dang. You don't get that it for, you're not going to rob the merchant. No. Oh, all right, fine. Um, that's funny though. Now, the only way to get bullets and to, to get curse off is to actually do things around the thing, right? Say yeah. what? That's fine. I'm just... There are certain cards that remove curse. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to probably spend for this one to gain a bullet because I have no way of gaining bullets. So. Mm -hmm. It's one dollar per bullet. But um, but, but this one. This oh, one. you're gonna buy that? Yeah. Okay. How much is that? The belt. Which okay. Is a free bullet every turn. Oh, you get a free bullet every turn. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, so go ahead and buy that then. Wait, how many turns is there? As many as it takes to reach an end game condition. Okay. Maybe when a monster just... reaches the center, when we kill three monsters, or when we take all the artifacts. <laughs> this is gonna pay off in six turns. <laughs> it will. That's a lot of turns. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodbye, my beautiful monies. All of them. Is that a what's is that a accessory mm -hmm. slot? Backpack yeah. slot? Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and refill. You have the option to refresh if you want, but <laughs> It's up to you. You have no money, but it's up to you. <laughs> All right, that's fine though. All right, so that was your encounter step. Now we do the action step. Yep, and that's um, you. So now I'm going to take a look at my cards and see how I'm going to play these. Um, first, I'm going to play this, which is give me one attack and minus one curse. So I'm down to zero curse, and I have one attack queued up. Um, is there any any wanted on the... On the, ru the ruins? No. No, canyons. I, I, is that what they yeah. are? Canyons, right here. How much is that? Four. Four. I could probably do that. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to play these cards and cool. not... Well, I could play that cursed one if I need it to. Let's see. Um, um, I don't think I'm going to. Okay. So um, actually, should I? Yeah, I have a way to get rid of curse, but not regenerate health. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use this to move one which is here and I'm going to use that same card at combat to negate that damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that card's gone. Okay. Um, I've already used my negative one curse. Um, I've got one attack queued up. I've got two attack and I have got this oh. curse. I'm going to go ahead and double my two so two, two, one, that's five. Um, and I'm at the canyon. So um, go ahead and I, I have to take a curse. I have a question. Could you do it out of order? Could you like just say you want to double this one up and use the four attack to, to, to hit that and then minus one with the curse? I could have. It's any order I want. Oh. I also get one money for this harmonica. Yeah. I didn't do that. So yeah, so what is the reward on... Let me Three see money that. and one grit. All right, so that was zombies that I just killed. Mm -hmm. uh, canyons, zombies. Okay, so three money, one grit. So I'm going to take three coin and one victory point. And this flips over to yep. the other side, and now it just needs three to kill that. Reward is one card and one grit. Still in the canyons? Yep. Yep. Okay. So potentially you, don't, you won't have any curse. Right? Well, yeah, I have a card that no, because I had one from a previous turn. Oh. I went, I went one to zero, then back up to one again. Okay. So that's this card. Like that's all my cards. I can't do anything else. Um, and it's now your turn. Whew, confusing. That was my action. All right. Um. All right. Let's see. Um. I'm going to. 
Defeat a bounty. A bounty. Are you at? Mountain View. Is that ruins or? The thing over there. Oh, Mountain View. Okay. How how much is he? Uh, ten. <sighs> Dang. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. It's fine. You can do ten. Yep. Okay, go for I'm it. I'm gonna use my artifact. All right, so that's six attack and f yep. Six and I'm going to double it and lose one health. Okay, yeah, it says here on the very bottom, yep. copy the effect of another card you play in this phase. If it's an artifact, lose a health. Mm -hmm. You also take a curse. Yes, that's right. Okay. So you've got 12 attack. Which oh, is... wait, I had, I had a passive. Never mind. Can I take that back? Yes. Because I could do this. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. So give yourself a, a health is... and a curse. Okay. Health and minus one curse. Yep. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So minus two bullets... Is for exactly 10. 10. Okay, so 4 from this, 6 from this. Yep. 4 from your inherent ability, 6 from your boomerang is 10. Okay, so and how much did he need? 10. 10, okay. So you, as a reward, would get 5 money and 4 victory points. So you're up to 4, and go ahead and take 5 money. Okay. And you're going to keep this as a reward somewhere off, off to the side. Okay. I guess I'll just tuck it. No, I can't tuck it. Just whatever. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, I'll just tuck it under this the black felt mat. Alright. Just don't forget it's there. Alright, I'll try not to. Um, okay, so now I will... Oh my gosh. That was your action, so all you can do now is, is move. Is move and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I got it. So you can stay there if you want, and then... Um... Or you can spend cards and move. Okay. Or just stay there and discard cards... To refresh and go back to town. Yeah, but okay. Oh, that's right. I could just automatically go back to town. Right. Whenever you refresh your deck, you're going to go back to town. So during the cleanup, you can discard cards that you don't use. And you've got how many in your deck? Three. Three. So if you discard your entire hand. Yeah. At the during the cleanup, you'd be forced to draw four. You only have only got three. So you'd be forced to refresh your discard pile to your, your draw deck. That would teleport you back to San Andreas for the next turn. I see. Hold on. Okay, hold on. And while she's thinking, I just want to show you guys the monster miniatures. just thought they were cool. Alright. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something cr 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 crazy. Um, oh, wait a second. So these, these colored ones are considered cursed, not ruins. It says ruins of Palenque. It, but, but this one says cursed, so what are cursed? cursed? It's the cursed hangman's tree. Is it just one then? Are these just one spot? I don't know. Spot? I, I, again, this is a failure of the book. I, I think it's all the colors. And I think the ruins are just all the, all like the house, like the, the build, I don't know. Not the building. Again, this is our first game. I am not going to stress too much over Sorry, this. Sorry, I'm stressing out over it. I know well, I don't. Am. It doesn't say what specific spots, like, here's the outside of San Andreas part of the rule book. There is nothing here that says this space is specifically a cursed spot. This space, it just says if it is a desert or canyons or ruins or like, oh, that's wow. great if it is. But how do I know which is which? It doesn't actually say. I think buildings are ruins. That's what I, that's why I said. But, but I don't think the colored spots are because there's a cursed card here. Well, that's, that says the cursed hangman's tree. So I, mm -hmm. I assume that that was... But, yeah, if it, but, it, it does, but it doesn't make sense if it's only one spot. I know, but again, okay, okay, sorry, I'm sorry. the rule book, All right, let me do something. this is a failure of the developer to educate right. people how to play his game. All right. We'll talk about that during the I'm event. going to use my cards. Alright? I'm going to do something a little crazy here. Okay, so I'll need one more to lift over. Okay, I'm going to use this to move two, right, and to move here. 
Okay. And I can't rob you, so I don't want to anyway, so that's fine. And I'm going to... Um, to rob, you would need to have an attack score greater than my health. Yeah. Which you don't. No, I don't. That's fine. And I'm going to do this. And you're out of actions anyway. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double up my movement. And get a curse. Yeah. And move up here. And I have the attack to negate it. Okay. So I get three curse there. And I'm going to stay. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Hey, here's a question. If I grab all these, right, if there's nothing in the deck, does it get refreshed? Yes. Oh, really? Right, so... Oh, I thought it would only get refreshed. Unless you keep that... Well, well here's the thing. You've got one card left. Yeah. You draw these three, you're fine. Oh, okay. So we can... When you go to draw from the deck and there is none, that's when you refresh. Okay, all right. So I think I'll be good. So as long as you don't spend that last card, yeah. you're um, fine. Yeah, I'm good. Mm-hmm. All right, so go ahead and discard all of these then, okay. if you're done with them. Yeah. All right, I'm getting it little by little. Mm-hmm. All right, cleanup phase, discard. Um, I don't have nothing to discard. Then shuffle, um, draw back, back up to four. Well, I don't have any cards in my draw deck, so I'm going back to San Andreas. Um, it's that. All right. Oh, I forgot to use Did this. you draw up to, what is it? The belt to give me one more bullet. Uh, go ahead, take a bullet. I'll just take the bullet, if that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> um, so, did you draw up to four? I did. I drew up to four. Return to San Andreas of Shuffled, Monster Moves, and you get the first player. All right, so now, third round, you go ahead and improvise. So, here's two cards. Okay. And then you have to choose one, discard the other one. <sighs> All right, I'm going to discard this one. Uppercut. Okay. Trash a card to do one damage. Addition, an additional damage, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is trash... When I see the word trash, that means removed from the game. That's any other deck builder I've ever played. I hope the Yarkar I hope that's not Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's from the game. I would imagine so. But every time you want to attack, you have to trash a card. That sucks. Well, no, for an additional like a... Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. I thought that was the card's only purpose. Trash a card again. Yeah. No. It's two damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I get to improvise. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give myself four cards as well. Let's see what I get for this round. Okay, so I could use that to remove. Okay, so I got a lot of those. I need to move. Or I could take that and draw more. Or I could take, yeah, I actually like, yeah, that, absolutely that. Okay, so I'm going to remove the dark arts and keep that. Okay, now we encounter. You are in a ruined space, mm -hmm. so you have to do the ruins. You meet a local man who claims to know all about these ruins. He offers to show you around. After an hour of touring the place, your guide rides off and deserts you. You search your pockets and realize he has stolen your money. Minus four money. Lame. So I got one. <laughs> what a jerk. Now, I am in town, so I can either job or... Um, what is over there? Can I see these? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, boots, which is extra movement. That's a backpack thing. During improvise, draw three instead of two. Colt is minus one ammo to do two. That's a single-handed weapon. Um, I've got a lot of money. Um, I may as well go ahead and start buying stuff. So, I think I will shop. I will buy the Colt walker for five and not the torch and the boots gives me more movement so I'm going to go ahead and just take the boots for three. Mm -hmm. I will use my refresh 
for free to draw three new ones. One. Well, here's the thing, babe. What? These would have gotten insta-filled, right? I guess. Yeah. So then you could have refreshed it after you took a look. Um, I guess. Well, <laughs> then put that one back. Yeah. Uh, so from the discard pot. The one from the... No, no, no. Take the, a look. Oh, I thought you were looking for them. Yeah, put that one there. Yeah, and I'll take a look at the other two. Okay, here you go. All right. Uh, four and six. A hat so that would go in my backpack. The backpack gives me uh, that gives me one attack. Um, the Winchester, I, I can't. It's a double-handed thing. Um, I could buy the hat and get an extra combat. That would be th okay. I think that might do. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. And that goes back, and you just need to refill one. Yep. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, All right. Nine, and now my character is loaded to bear with stuff. And that was my encounter. Now on to the action phase. You play cards to generate resources and then take one action. Or combination thereof. Is that my turn? It is your turn. You're the first player. Uh, what's your, what's the most wanted? Um, we've got 9, 7, 12, 12. What's the city locations? City? Or what are the, their locations? Canyons. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Ruins. Cursed. Expedition. Wow. So See, expedition. I thought, I, thought, was... I thought these were general in those. Well, were it's more yeah. This is ruins as well. Interesting. Where you're at, so you would need seven attack to kill yeah. this person here. Um, the canyons, which is that space, I'm assuming. Uh, let me see the canyon and the ruin. Let me see all of them, please. <laughs> Well, if you don't have 12, do you have 12? Can you get 12 attack? I'm not telling you. All right, fine. That's a secret game. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Another side rule. If a player reaches 21 grit and mm -hmm. there is no monster, then we're automatically going to replace the top card with a, a monster card on the very bottom of one of these decks. Yeah. Just to, just to spawn one. All right. Um, uh, first thing I'm going to do is... Oh, so I have to take actions first instead of this? No, those. you can do both. You, right. you do them in any order that you want. I'm going to do this minus two. Minus first. two curse. Do that. And I'm going to use my belt for another bullet. Okay. And I'm going to camp on that spot. All right, now that's an action. Yeah. So what you do is you discard, you get a health, you gain one health, and then you discard everything. Yeah. Um, just make sure I got that right. Uh, camp. Shuffle your deck automatic. Okay, um, when you take the camp action, immediately shuffle all. Play area, discard, and deck of cards back into your deck. Okay, so take every card. Every card. That, 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 everything. Shuffle it into a new deck. But you stay there. Okay. And you also gain a health, which you think you already did. All right. And is that it? That's it. Okay, hold on. Wait. I completed a job. Okay. That's to camp in the ruins. Camp in the ruins. Okay. Um, so that would be three money and four victory points. You're up to eight. And then you get three money. Okay. And here's a job. Right. And completed. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Alright, my turn. Mm -hmm. First thing I'm going to do is... Um, let's see, I am there. Unfortunately, I've got a lot of... Alright, well, I guess we'll use two... I'll get two water. Oh. I don't draw anything yet, right? No. Okay. That's during the cleanup. Yep. Um, so I got my two water. I only have... Oh, I can play... I can get two movement and draw a card. So I'm going to draw a card from my deck. Um, okay, so that's one movement and one attack. Awesome. Um, Alright, so that's three movement. One, two... What is that? Ruins? Yeah, I'm thinking that's ruins. That's seven. Um, like, I would think these are ruins. And okay. this one here. Well, I can do... Alright, so I'll do that. I will... Um, I'll just play... This gives minus one curse and one attack. 
So I'll just do that. Um, so that's one. So for my two movement, I'm going to go one, two. And then I'm going to um, use my combat here to negate that damage. Then for the rest, I've got one, three, and two. So that's uh, five, six, plus my hat is seven. I've got the Colt Walker if I need it, but I don't need it. Um, so with seven attack, I've also got the boots that I could use for movement. Holy crap, that's a lot of items you have. I do. Did I give myself a harmonica? I don't think I did. You tap it once you use that. Sure. <laughs> um, so I have seven that I used. So that would be this runes card. Mm -hmm. um, as a reward, I get actually... Hmm. Do I want that one? Or I had an extra movement with the boots. I'm actually going to do this. With the boots, I'm going to move here. Mm -hmm. And with, with, my, um, with my attack, uh, there's nine attack now. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus one ammo to get two more is eight, nine. Mm -hmm. So minus one ammo. Nice. And that would mean I can complete this one instead. Whoa. Um, and that is two ammo and three grit. So I go back up two, and I get three grit. So one, two, three, nine. Nice. All right, so this guy is toast. And let me flip that over. All right, and all of these cards are gone. Nice. And I think that's it. So now, um, cleanup. We discard if we want to. Draw back up to four cards. One, two, two three, four. four. Not helpful. <laughs> yeah, really. I guess it's terrible. And you get the first player turn? Yeah, I get that. Um, okay. So now we improvise. I draw two. Uh, let's see. Do I want... Ammo, or do I want that? I mean, I'm, I'm good on ammo, but I have no way to regenerate it, so I kind of want that. But then again, I've got this general attack, which I won't need ammo if I'm, yeah. Okay, I might just take the uppercut card, and that would put that there. So you draw two, mm -hmm. and improvise. I did. Oh, you did already? Mm -hmm. Encounter. Um, starting with me, I'm in the uh, canyons, right? Mm -hmm. um, a merchant appears ahead in the clearing. He greets you and sets you out his wares. You may take shopping actions as if you were in San Andreas. All right. That's a good one. So I, I've got four. Um, what are those there? I'm actually, I didn't like any of those, did I? I don't remember here. <laughs> Six, six, seven. Yeah, go ahead and I'm going to refresh these. All three. All right, any fours in there? Knife, boots, knife. Well, that would replace something of mine. I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, all right, fine, we'll keep that. Instead, maybe I'll spend my money to increase the cap of something. Um, buy a bullet, increase bullet maximum, increase curse threshold, increase health. Um, I'm going to go ahead and increase my health by one by spending all of my money. There we go. All right, so that was my trade for that event. Your uh, trade, you're on the ruins. Mm -hmm. Your ruins, you awake to the ground sinking beneath you. You leap up to avoid being buried alive, but the ground continues to gound, continues to open up. Discard two cards to grab your things and escape or get buried alive minus two health. So you have to discard two cards or lose two health. I'm not making this up. So, but I can't, I can't draw again if I discard, right? Correct. That's useless. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely gonna take two health. <laughs> that was two health, right? Yeah, two health. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For whatever reason, the color got all weird. Oh, okay.
Okay. Alright. So, um, okay. Can I see those cards again? Well, what are you trying to do now? I just want to see. Did you raise, I, I get to take my turn first. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. first player. I thought you already did all that, my bad. No, I did not. It was just the encounter, and that's right. That was the encounter. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two Might as well just put a permanent first player marker on me. I see that. <laughs> um, well, what is the weakest over there? The weakest is a two. Really? Mm -hmm. Where is it located? It's in the desert. Desert. The okay. reward is one water, one victory point. Mm. What's the next weakest? Three. Where's that at? Uh, the canyons. I, um, I happen to be in a canyon, right? The reward is one card to draw one card and a uh, victory point. Uh, well, I guess I'm in the canyons then. So, all right. So I'll just stay where I'm at, and I'll spend three attack to. So there's two, three. There's also one movement here, but I don't need it. Um, and I'll complete that card, so you can flip it. You said it was one card. One to draw one card. Right. To draw a card, which I can't do because I don't have any cards, so... But you, can you... Does that mean it's an automatic shuffle and then you can draw it? Yes. Yeah, okay. And that means I also teleport back in a minute, at the end here. Oh, interesting. Um, but... What was the reward? One grit? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. One victory point. Okay. Alright, so I draw one card. And... What was the... Mm -hmm. what, what's the other side of that? Other so, side is a four. A four, you a, say. A four attack... But you're going to get teleported, right? So I know, but I can do two attack actions before I do anything. Okay. I don't teleport now. I teleport oh, during the cleanup phase. Okay. So I need four for the flip side of this. Mm -hmm. I've got a three, and I can curse myself to take that action again. So I'm going to curse. That's a six. Is there any canyon? What other canyons are on there? Uh, there's no other canyons. All there's right. a cursed, a ruin, and a desert. So if you have a movement, maybe you can move to a ruin, and there's a five here. A five. Um, what's the what's the re reward on that card? Um, reward is trash. Trash a card. Yeah, I don't want that one. Um, yeah, I'll just do this one. So I'm gonna curse myself to use the attack twice to mm -hmm. destroy this zombie thing again. So I get three money and one victory point. Nice. And you can only do that twice. Mm -hmm. So all of these are gone. Mm -hmm. And I will not spend... Well, I could move, but I don't see a reason to at this point. Um, okay, so I think... I think I'm done. So after you attack, then you get teleported? That's during the cleanup phase. You're jumping ahead. Action phase. Do an action. Resolve cards. Clean up. Return to San Andreas if shuffled. I shuffled, oh. but that's not going to happen until later. Oh, you got to observe the proper okay. right. proper turn order. Okay, I wish I had one of those dang cards right on my side. That's why you trust me. Mm -hmm. And, okay, so now it's my turn. Uh, first thing I will do is use my belt, get a bullet. Okay. I like that thing. Did I get my harmonica? I did not. No. And the other thing I'm going to do, what am I going to do? Now I can do all sorts of things out of order, right? Like move and then attack and then move again. Actually, oh. actually, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to complete a job while I'm at it. I had a movement that I did not spend. But you can't complete a job and... Yes, I can. There, uh, completing a job is not an action. So oh, the one okay. movement I didn't use plus the two... Oh. So I'm going to um, nice. use that as three movement. Okay, okay. And my farm hand needs three movement. I see. So that gives me one money and one victory point. Oh, nice. Okay. So that goes away. And then this is the only card left over. Nice. All right. All right, now I'm done. <laughs> okay. All right. Um... Now, I can do things all out of order, right? Like move, attack, and then move again? Yes. Okay. All right. This is so confusing. Okay. Uh, can I see those most wanted, wanted bodies again? 12, 8, 12, 7. 
Yeah, I know. I gotta know where they are. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Oh, crap. <laughs> Not good. Um, oh my gosh, it's not good. Okay. Okay, here you go. Now, if I land on the purple cube, does that mean I'm cursed? Yes. Oh, really? That means you flip over your card. And if you get cursed again while you're cursed, you lose health. Alright. Interesting. You know what? Bleh. Okay. That stinks. Oh. <laughs> wow, that dog. Sorry. Those things because I can't avoid that. Oh, wow. Okay. I got an idea. I'm going to do this. I'm going to move three. Okay. You've got supernatural speed. You must have distracted this one. Wait. No, because that'll get me. Actually, yeah, okay. So one, right? Mm -hmm. Two, and then I land on the cursed thing. Right, so you passed that one one curse, two curse. So you, you get two so curse. Two curse, yeah. and you one also attack. have to spend You also have to spend one okay, yep. three movement yeah, and one attack for that one. I got the attack. But why would you go that way when you would just go, why, would, why wouldn't you just go? It's the same thing. But you don't have to spend an attack to, to do it. Oh, okay, fine. I'll do that then. Go. The, you were here. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. All right. There's no attack here. All right. It's the same cost, just minus yeah, one. Yeah, I didn't even need my brain. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, fine. And in that case, I'll move down one with this. Down here? Yes. To the desert space? Yes. That's one attack needed? Yep. Okay. That. You've got two here so that you've queued up one if you need it yeah i don't and then you need one more movement um or wait i already did that one the one okay movement. yeah yeah all right i meant if you're gonna try and go here which is probably what you're trying to do oh yeah no i can't because then that I'm your curse cursed. would hit yeah kind of don't care to be honest <laughs> You know what? Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to spend... It's just one movement that you need to do this. Unless you're going somewhere else. What happens if you're cursed? Do you get teleported anywhere? No. You just... Again, you, you flip your card over and then your character takes damage every time you get mm -hmm. cursed after that. So, I will, I will curse this thing and have six additional movements. Okay. To queue up. Okay. So I'm using one to go down, right? So that leaves me with five movement. Mm -hmm. So this curses me and I flip this over. But you, here's the thing. Yeah. You used a curse to use that card again, but there's also a curse here. So you'd have to curse yourself twice. That's fine. All right. So. And now I flip this over. Okay. Right. It says once per round, you must spend a movement or suffer one health. Okay. okay. Just to show the folks at home how gross I look. <laughs> this is now her curse, redhead. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, and you spent your one movement, so yeah. So you have. What? I have five left. Five. Have five so you have four now. Why? Because you have to spend the movement. I. 
You I, had six. Yeah, and I went down to one. To five. Yeah. Now you've got five. Yeah. Now you need to spend a movement to prevent damage. That's four. Now you've got four. Oh, movement. okay, yeah, five. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I see, okay. Now I'm going to spend this for two coins. Okay. And you want an artifact as your action? Yes. Does it... You, you tell me. It doesn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> it's a... Bone of some kind? Looks like a banana, but... Looks like a candlestick. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the fang. Uh, Sokali fang. It's four attack and one curse. Are you serious? Whenever you use it. It's a lot of attack strength, but you, you're you going to be just cursed this entire game. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> well, no, no. That goes in your hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. That goes fair. in your hand. Um, oh, right now? Yeah. Okay. You can use it. I'm not um, going to use it. Okay. So you can either hold on to it then. You're going to discard... You, you're going to do anything else with your movement? No. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um... If you do, you're going to pass <laughs> back over this again. I know. <laughs> You've got four movement left. Four movement. One, two, three, four. I might as well. No, but I can't. Oh, well. Oh, my God. That's so much cursed. Hold on. Wait. I'm thinking. I have to wonder if there's any other... Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. I don't care. Let's go for it, yellow. Wow. All right, so I'm going to spend one, two, three. One, two, three. That's another curse. That, so two more curses. Two more curses. And one attack. One, two. Yep, and I'm going to use that. Which is another curse. Another curse. <laughs> My God, woman. Yellow. I'm cursed. What can I say? Wow. Okay. Is there like a penalty for being so cursed? <laughs> you shouldn't be able to move. Like you should be so crept the crept. It's not inventory space, it's just like evilness. I I'm guess. I'm gonna kill you as soon as you like as soon as we cross paths, I'm just gonna decapitate you. I see. Alright, well I don't see any other <laughs> problem. Uh, yeah, I don't see I don't see any like downside of being cursed other than that. So alright. Um so that should be it. So you can discard everything you've used at this point. Um, I'm also going to discard this one. And I get to teleport back because I reshuffle. Yeah. Um, and... This refreshes. Okay. Discard. Alright, so four cards. Right? Four cards. One, two, three, four. Hun? Oh, um, yeah. Four cards. I'm just trying to think if I should have moved one more space up. Or not. It's an attack. Eating. Yeah, but that I had. It's, that do you want to? Oh, no, I can't. That's cheating. <laughs> Looking at my cards doing that. Right. Are these unfinished here? Okay. Yeah. All um. Right. Um. So this goes to you, yeah. and now you improvise. Okay. That's two cards. Yep. Okay. And I'll do that too while you're thinking. Hmm. Dang, that's pretty cool. Like that. Having another one of those is nice. Yeah, I'll take that one. I mean, yeah, two in attack and two move is nice, but that's one curse. It's the last thing I needed more curse. Hmm. Okay. I think I got it. Um. Alright. Hold on, let me think real quick. Mm-hmm. So if I did... Oh my gosh, there's so much chaining to be got to be gotten. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Oh. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay. And you kept that card, right? Yeah. Encounter. You are on a desert, desert. space. So let's see what you get. Um, the wind is kicking up sand in your face. 
as you make your way through the barren landscape. Soon you find yourself in the middle of a sandstorm. Um, you can take shelter, discard a card from your hand, or push through the storm and lose a health. That's fine, I'll lose a health. You're going to lose a health. I'm not making that up. No. Just, my health is so bad. Alright. So I, I'm going, right? Now... Oh, I have to do my encounter. Oh, you yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm in town, so I can either shop... Um, can you just hand me two job cards? Yeah. Alright. And... Do I want to discard one of them? Um, you know what? I'm. Mm, I don't like any of these. But she would come. Yeah. See, she would benefit from those too. All right. Um. You know what? I will. Jeez. Okay. Um. I'll never get that, just because I don't want that much corruption. <laughs> so I'm going to sell this one for three bucks. One, two, three. Cool. And that was my encounter. All right. All right. So uh, you get to take actions. Okay. You can play cards, take an action. First thing I'm going to do is minus two curse. Okay. <laughs> Second thing I'm going to do is double that effect. So it's one curse, but another minus two. Okay. So that's five. Oh, crap. <laughs> Damn it. You still have to spend a movement to negate a damage. Hopefully you have a movement card in there somewhere. Hopefully. That did not go as I planned. <laughs> Can I? It never What's does. the desert? Is there a desert most wanted over there? Um, there's Cursed, Expedition, Canyons, Ruins. Alright, I'm going to... Oh my gosh, that's so ridiculous. I wish there was a way to negate Curse better, honestly. There's cards that do it, but you have to, you have to be lucky enough to draw them. Um... Okay, let me do this then. Let me take that back, all this back. All right, so put... So that was... That was one, two, three. That was eight. Okay, so take these back then. Yeah, I'm trying to think. All right, so I'll do this instead. I'm going to trash this for four, minus four. Okay, so you're going to use its effect for two, trash it for four. So it's gone, but you lose four curse. Yeah, one, two, so... Oh, but I'm still cursed because I just landed on the thing. Yes. The... Never mind. Never mind. Either. Or not. Minus two then. Oh my gosh, this is so hectic. I'm going to dis... Um... <sighs> See, I'm scared to do that because if I do that, it's not going to work. Double the effect of this. So you're gonna do what you originally one, did. One, one, two, yeah. Okay. I wish I could trash it after the fact. <laughs> and I will discard. Um. You know what, yellow. I'm going to discard a, a card from my hand to draw two cards. I'm going to discard this one to draw two cards. Wait, what do you mean discard it? Here, I have a card here. Oh, discard a card, a jack of all trades. Discard a card from your hand to draw two cards. Wonderful. All right, so you played that. Yeah, I played that. And I need one more. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm going to move two, three, and double this for four. Now remember, you have to pay yeah. one movement for your health. Oh, I can't. I she, can't. Not, unless you want to lose a health. No, I can't, I can't, because I got to pay an attack, and I don't even have an attack to move there. All right, one for the health. You can spend two ammo... 
to use... Oh, that's right, that's right. Then, yeah, I'll do that, I'll do your it. Our characters have guns, so you can spend them. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, I'll do that, I'll do that. I forgot. Okay, so, one, one, two, three, four, five. Five to move one, two, three, four, and then spend one. One, two, three, four, spend one. That's two attack that you have to negate. Yeah, which so is two one, ammo. two. Right, because your two ammo is three, what is that, five? Yeah. Wow, two ammo is five attack on that. Yeah. Um, you also uh, get a curse. Oh, and I get one bullet because I didn't spend this. All right, you also get one curse because you... I did. I already put that okay. up there. All right, um, do you, which color do you want? Well, purple. Which one do you want? Pick one. I take it you're going to get an artifact? Yeah. What's Actually, that? maybe I didn't. I, gotta, I don't remember if I did or didn't. Uh, it's fine. All right, so what is that? It looks like some kind of... Wait, village. why do I get a curse? Because you used... You doubled. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, mm. you're right. You're right. Okay. So, yeah, I'm at six. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Rostam's Medallion. Four movement, plus one curse, and seven victory points at the end of the game. Man, you're, you're, you're cursed. You're just cursed. Whatever. And that goes in my hand? Yeah, it goes so in my hand. So I can move it? Well, you can move, but you can't take an action because that was your action. So yeah, but I can still move, right? Yes. And I have... Three bullets, three attack left that you haven't spent. Oh, my God. One, two, one. Yeah, I'll do it. Why not? Because why not? Oh, wait, no. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, all right, I'll do that, babe. What? I'm gonna move. All right, so you get one curse. <laughs> one curse. And you have, okay, so where are you moving? I'm moving one. Yep, and that's, that negates one of the attacks. So that's okay. two attacks left. Here. Curse. And that's it. One curse. Okay. Um, and I complete a job. What's the job? Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I did. Wait, I don't know if I did. Yeah, what does it say? I think I did. Yeah, just be on Keola Springs. Okay. Oh, it says camp on Keola Springs. You have to camp. Well, no, because this one said camp, right? Oh, yeah, I guess. That one's specific? Camp in ruins. Okay, yeah, I guess that's right. That one's just to travel there? Yeah, I guess. Sure. That's fine. Again, this is, this says just Keola Springs. There's a tent icon, but it says Keola Springs. It doesn't say camp yeah, in So I'm thinking it's just go there. So, yeah, you're fine. So get five money. And, and sh should I look through the jobs to see if there's anything? No, don't worry. Again, I'm not. You're stressing out too much. I am stressing out. Here, I'm... completed. All right, all right. Did you give me the five? I did. Oh, okay. And the seven victory points? I did. Oh, wow, that was fast. And... <sighs> I think that's all I can do. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, look. Map legend. It's on a separate page. Are you serious? Yeah, well, um, three, this is actually cursed. Even though it says ruins... That's so we've been some of the spaces we've been playing wrong, but that would have been again map legend here. Why would you put that there? Is there a table of contents? There is. Well, actually, no, there's not. Wow. There's no table of contents. That's nice. Again, it's in the wrong place. Like, that's I'm yeah, let me see it. I'm over. Like, I'm just I'm, I'm curious now. So anyway. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, you're right. All the buildings are ruins. And I guess you're right about the colored spaces being cursed. Cursed, yeah. But again, that this says ruins. Wait a second. Mananoala is a cursed place. That up there is also a cursed well, place. Well, we've been both been playing wrong. But that, it's it's a little late now. I'm yeah. just saying yeah. this is on the wrong page. Yeah. That map legend is on the wrong page. Put it in the appropriate set. I'll, I'll get that to that in my review. This rule book sucks. This Aww. is the only page that's worth anything. 
because everything else is out of order. Anyway. Um, I'm just really surprised that these aren't even colored and that they're all cursed. Yeah, if, if how can that be, like, this is colored green, that's like a purplish pink. Right, so this looks like a regular town to me, and it's not colored or hued or anything. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna do that, be consistent. Anyway, again, that's the review. I'm not gonna get to that yet. <laughs> okay, so let's see. You can um, all discard it. You can all discard it. All right, as far as what I can do, um, I need to get victory points back big time somehow. Um, I can move, well, let's do this first. One move and one curse down. So down to zero and one move there. Next, um, I will... Hmm. That's the thing, though. If I draw back up, I can like do one or the other there. That sucks. Um, based on the amount of cards I have. Well, I have to make a decision. Do I want an artifact or do I want that? Well, all right. Oh, some of these artifacts are just two or one. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I need to get to the expedition. So that's one, two, three, four, five, somehow. I've got two and draw a card. Uh, there's two money. Um, so I've got three, I got two more movement. I'll go one and then this one is a movement oh. That's right. this one is a movement yes. so I was I was here I've got um, one two three four and my boots make five so I could go one two three four but I can't actually get to the expedition I don't think not without another movement. So instead of that, I need to find something else to do. So let's reset. Uh, my harmonica money. I forgot about. I'll just give myself one, two, three, four, five, and then. I'm gonna look at the map legend again. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rip it out real quick. Do not rip it out. <laughs> um. Oh, I, I, I did that for two. I already got the two. Um, I already played the curse card, so I have to put that down. That's one. Um, okay, so where else can I move to that would get me more points? Last scene, cursed. Um, I don't know if I like that. Canyons and ruins. Well, I could go to the ruins here. Um, I could also go down that way. Actually, this is one, two three, four, five, I could get down there um, and get an artifact that way. But I'm at the mercy of whatever I draw. Does Mountain View is not there. Okay, so I could instead go... I need the most victory points. All right, canyons. Okay, so I guess we'll go to the canyons then. So canyons are here. So... Hmm. Well, actually, I can go here. It's one, two, three. And this is one, two, three. And then drew a, I drew a card already. Um, okay, so I'm at the canyons. I've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Um, six, seven for one ammo. There. And... You know what? Instead of doing that, I'll just spend two. One, two. And it's one, two, three. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, eight, the hat. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is enough to kill this 
uh, canyons monster, the guards. So I would get uh, four money and three victory points for that one. So I'll take a five and give a four, and then I get three. One, two, three, we're tied. And that one goes there. Oh, that was your token, right? Um. Because you went first. Oh no, no sorry, sorry. Not, not I, for, I forgot I went first. Yeah. Um, okay, so I don't have anything left to do here. So that would that would end that. Uh, can I see that please? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that gameplay, um, apparently I did this wrong. So when you, as soon as you run out of this, you have to reshuffle it. You can't just hold it. Yeah, you reshuffle it, yes, but you don't teleport until until the cleanup. Phase. Yes, you tell you you sh I, you can shuffle now, but you cannot teleport yeah. until. When I was here, remember? Remember, I had that one card. Oh, oh wait. No, oh, you're remember. misremembering. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. <laughs> All right, so now it's the cleanup phase. Now it's the cleanup phase. Good lord. <laughs> discard. You have any to discard? No. no. Draw back up to four. I can't, so I have to. Teleport back. So now that I drew up to four and I have nothing here, I have to shuffle, right? No. It's... You don't shuffle, you don't reshuffle until you try to draw from here but can't. But no, but look in the, look what it says. It says if all your cards are in your play area, if the deck ever runs up, no. If your entire deck is in your play area, lose one card for each card that you cannot draw. That means you cannot draw. That means, all that means is, if all of your cards are out of your discard, that, that cannot, let's say you have nothing in your discard and nothing in your deck. That's what it's saying. How would you ever run out of cards? I don't, you might be, you might be drawing, 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 like you might have cards in here that let you play 15 cards in one oh, turn. Oh, interesting. Okay, sorry. Again, we're not playing the perfection here. I know, I know. First I, game, I, I terrible, to, no. terrible rule book. Aww. I'm not going to go there. Not yet. Okay, so I reshuffled, I teleported back, and you didn't reshuffle yet because you didn't have to, not yet. Um, so now we're going to improvise. I'm first player. Mm -hmm. One, two. All right, um, I get to draw my four first. One, two, three. Let's see what I would need for this. Yeah, Probably. I will improvise as well as simultaneously. Yes, it's fine. I will just take the... Oh, that movement is nice, but I, yeah, let's get rid of this snatch. I don't need the curse. And yeah, that's that's it for me. I don't get this one. Give yourself two curse. Um, trash a card from your hand to improvise. Trash, trash this card, and then trash a card from your hand to improvise again. Oh, no. So I guess whenever you play it, you would just do the bottom effect. Just trash a card from your hand to improvise again. So it's a way of getting more cards from the deck. Oh. I'm looking for it. When you play Call to Darkness, increase your corruption by two, or your yeah. curse. It only makes sense to play this card when you're going to trash it from your deck for the effect. When you trash the card, you trash another card. Yes, yeah, so you trash this to do that. to trash something else in your hand what? to improvise again. So you're getting you're two getting cards of, for the price of one. Yes, but you're you're thinning out your deck to get something out of there that you don't want. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I don't want it. I figure. <laughs> I don't um, care that much. Okay. Alright. Um, okay. Stupid stuff. Um, As first player... What um, happens when you when you get to zero again? You you die. Well, not die. You respawn. You have to lose uh, victory points and oh, other things. Oh, I see. Okay. Nasty. Encounters. As first player, I'll go first. Mm -hmm. um, I'll take... Um, Actually, let me go to the shop um, and spend some coin. Um, so what I'm going to do, though, no, no, I don't need those. Oh, sorry. Um, what I'd like to do is I want to spend two to increase my bullet maximum oh. to six. Oh, Bella. Then I'm going to spend one, 
to one, two, three, four to buy four bullets. I'm up to six, my threshold. That completes this job. Gunslinger, six bullets, one money, and three victory points. Very nice. So, one money, three victory points. And I'm at the shop. Um, I don't like any of those. You want to refresh it? Well, the question is, do I need... I mean, I've got all this money. I'm not sure what else to spend. Maybe I'll spend... Did this count as a shop item or no? What do you mean? Like, all this increasing and upgrading, does that Yes, count that's all this? the shop. Yeah. When you go to the shop, you can do that. Yeah, upgrades. When you shop, you can upgrade or you can buy stuff. Um, oh, oh, okay. So it's not like a one or, or the other type of thing. Correct. Are there any... Actually, you know what? I might replace my harmonica at this point. Um, that knife... Mm-hmm. It's two knives. Um, it's one damage. So I'll, I'll replace my harmonica with a, a one-handed weapon. All right, so you trashing that one? Yeah, I'm tra here, so that can go away. I have to spend three money. Okay. I need attack at this point. Okay. Um, so I'm done with my encounter. Um, you encounter... In the cursed. Here. Cursed? Is that what that is? Uh-huh. All right, um, let's see, surrounded. So you have to choose one of these three things. Uh, five attack, stand your ground, plus two victory points. Uh, two movement, punch through, plus one curse. Overwhelmed, minus two health. So if you have five attack, you can get two victory points. Now can I spend bullets for that yes. or no? Mm -hmm. any, any way to get five attack. I mean, you got it right there, right? Minus two, yeah, five attack. I know. Unless you have a card or two that can do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. I would love to get my health down to zero, though, and get six victory points, but there's no way for me to get my health back up, is there? It resets back to its normal value once you're dead. Oh, really? Yeah. But, again, you lose victory points when you do it. How many? Okay, so yeah, I was looking for what happens when a character dies. It's in the setup section of the rule book. Why would you put that information in the... Mm. <laughs> if your health ever reaches zero, immediately end your turn and lose three grit, which is three victory points. Move your figure to San Andreas and pay money equal to the number of spaces you move to get back to San Andreas. If you don't have enough money, you should reduce your victory point by one for each money that you're short. After you pay a good Samaritan for dragging you back to San Andreas, set your your health to three and shuffle your discard pile, hand, and deck together to form a new deck. Good. So it's three victory points at least, plus whatever money you can't pay to get back. Oh my gosh. So that would be one, two, three, four monies? I guess. So three victory points. And how much? Four monies? It, it says spaces. It doesn't say anything about movement points. So I'm assuming it's spaces. Yeah, that's what I was assuming too. Yeah, um, okay. Thinking. Um, I think I'm going to... You still have to resolve this encounter. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying to see what... I'm trying to calculate. Uh, how many How many victory points do you lose if you keep a job? Whatever it says on there. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, that's rough. All right. I'm just going to take the, the hit. And I'm going to pay four money. Wait, why are you dying? Because oh, you I mean... get to complete a job. Oh, okay. All right. Which is... If you have your health up to zero, you get four monies, which is actually equal to the amount of traveling. Okay, so I'm not, yeah. And then six victory points. But, but minus three, three. For dying. Right, so you get three. Yeah. One, two, three, you're on 21. Now, what did it say about um, Samaritan, all that stuff? Or was Me, that just flavor? That was if you couldn't pay. Oh, I see, I see. Um, now, a monster comes out. We've reached 21. 
So we've got to flip this. Actually, monster. Okay, so we have to, I guess, replace this with this. All right. So last scene, Santa de Agusikiwe. <laughs> um, that Agua is... Sulca, that one. Yeah. Okay. That monster is a nine victory point reward for killing. How much is he? Eighteen to so, kill. Wendigo. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Eighteen combat. All right. Do you have to land in the space that he's in? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I see. If you if you uh, if he lands in your space, you lose one health automatically. Ooh, nasty. Now, do I reset because I traveled? Yes, there? back to three. Mm -hmm. And in all of your cards, reset. Oh, all of them? Mm -hmm. So I have to shuffle everything? Everything, put it back into your deck. Okay, that's fine. But the downside is, all of your cards in that, like, you're not going to go this round. Because now we're on the action phase. We did the encounter, now we're on the action phase. So now that you, okay. don't, you don't draw until the cleanup phase. Okay, so, okay. What a stupid job. Well, you got three points out of it. Big deal. That was... I don't know if that was worth it or not. Mm, it was, I guess. Mm -hmm. I was deciding whether to do that or to just go here, but whatever. Mm. <laughs> You're like, uh -huh. <laughs> Um, okay. So I gotta figure out a way to make more points. Um, what's the highest point value over there? For the wanted? Yeah. It is six. How many victory points? Two. Mm. Five, What's the, the highest? Five is two as well. Oh, so two victory points is the highest over there. Yeah. Yes. Oh. All right. So what about I've, the got, most I've got ammo, so I could use my ammo. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm gonna have to go after something here. Um, okay. So you can't do anything this turn. So my action. Let me see if I can reach the monster first and then kill it. Now, do I have the penalty because I'm cursed since I can't do anything? It says once per round, you must spend a movement. Uh, I yeah, guess. I think so. That sucks. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, see, I, that reaching that is going to be near impossible. I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nine movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's crazy. All right, let me play this one to draw a card and get two movement. Um, this is one movement and minus one curse, but okay. So that gives me one, two, one, two three, four, Five, six, seven movement, which isn't going to be enough to reach this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or if I go this way, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd take two curse in the process, but I would reach the monster. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could. Now the question is, do I have enough to kill it? Um, so... Let's see. He is 18, 18. So I have to find a way to get 18 damage. That's two, three. I could also trash this for an extra one if I needed to. Um, this is three. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then with eight, I can keep spending bullets. That's 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I could spend five bullets to get to the 18 nice. that I need. And I've got six, so I'm down to wow, one. Wow, so you killed So me. I can travel. I lose. I get two curse in the process. And you spent the bullet here as well? Uh, the attack? Mm -hmm. um, no, I'm going to have to spend my other bullet for that. Okay. Uh, that one there and one here. So one bullet for two attack, yeah. So I also, yeah, that's it. So, and, two, and two curse. So that's, you know, oh yeah, um, here's the thing though. I can play this negative curse as my last movement and minus one, minus one curse. Very good. So, oops, I moved that in the wrong direction. 
So I got I got two cursed and I Most. got rid of one. Very yeah. good. So it, it took everything I had, but that was I, a great move. I killed it and I got nine victory points for it. That's awesome. So fifteen plus nine is twenty-four. Um, I will just put the monster back and keep this card here. Um, that was my action, mm -hmm. so there's nothing else I can really do. Can I still do this or no? Um, what is it? Yeah, you can. It's. Is that? Yeah, go ahead. Part of, you have no cards. I don't have cards, and I have to suffer one. Right. Damage, mm -hmm. which I already did. Okay. It so was, you get. It was three starting off and two. Now. Okay. That's fine. So no cards. Rough. And a new one comes out. Okay. All right. Um, so my action is over. Clean up. Discard. Draw back up to four. So go ahead and drop to four. One, two, three, four. And first player goes to you. You shuffled. So yeah, you're back there. Do I improvise? Uh, that's next turn. Oh, sorry. sorry. Um, yeah, I give you. Yes, yeah, so go ahead and improvise, and I'll improvise after you're done. Um, you know what? I will take this one. Alright, so getting rid of that one. Can you see the map legend? Um, yeah. This is your... Completed one, right? Yeah. Map legend is... Here. Now, okay, so after I improvise, then it's the encounter, right? Yes. Okay. Um... Well, yeah, encounter. So you're going to do something in town. I'm still trying to improvise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Um, what are the most wanted? Sorry. 12, 12, 11, 14. Oh, okay, I just see them. I'm sorry. I know. I wish those were over here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. gonna get rid of this one. Okay. I got rid of mine already. Alright. So now encounter? Yeah. You're gonna do something in town? Yeah. Either buy or jobs. I'm going to now if I if I get a job I can always discard it for the money. You draw card. two and then from your entire collection you get rid of one optionally if you want to. Yeah. But you know what, I'm going to increase my curse threshold for $3. Okay. One, two, three. You can do that as many times as you want. Up here, mm -hmm. right? One, two, three. Okay. Another one up here. One, two. All right. You're really increasing that curse threshold. Yeah. Uh, anything else for the shop? No. No. 
So apparently Santa de Augusta is cursed. So I have to draw a curse card. My name is Hazel. Um, I can protect a child for six attack, uh, gain four victory points, escape with the child, three movement, um, or ignore them, plus two curse. Um, well, for four victory points, um, I might as well just spend... Alright, so I will do... One, two, three, four. So I can't, I'm going to tap these just to show that I've used, exhaust them just to show that I've used them. Mm -hmm. um, so I get four victory points for that. Okay. Nice. Alright, so that's that. Alright. And now the action phase. Okay. I'm going to move to one up here, right? Yep, you have to spend an attack. Here's an attack, and I get minus one curse there. Okay. I'm going to spend this for bullet. Okay. Okay. And um, that's the ruins. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna attack one of the most wanted. All right. The ruins is this one. It's eleven attack. Mhm. Mm you have eleven attack. Uh yes. Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, actually. Dang it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. So two bullets. One, two. It's overkill, but... Right, so you spent these cards for your attacks. Yes. Okay. All right, so you get uh, five victory points and minus two curse. One, two. And now this thing goes back over, so yep. I don't have to spend a movement to suffer one health anymore. Yep. yep. Just trying to get... Yeah. And you did the five victory points? I did. Okay. Oh, we got a new monster. The White Demon... Oh boy. Last scene at the expedition. Okay. Interesting. Um, anything else? No. Alright, so I might as well just stay where I'm at. Um, I don't have enough. I have one, two, I don't even have that. I don't have any bullets. Yeah. So I have, I have one, two, three, four attack and I could draw a card. Um, but the quest, you know, I'll take the artifact first while I'm here. That's just going to be my action. I got some kind of nice. golden idol thing. Eye of Horus. Uh, so I'm going to put that in my hand. And it says I can spend it to draw three cards. Ooh. One, two, three. All right, that's all of them. All right, a lot of curses going on here. Um, goodness gracious. Well, I can only move at this point. I can't do anything. Or you could, like, not go and then shuffle and automatically move to San Andreas. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd have to discard at least a lot of these to do that. Mm -hmm. um, for movement, like, I, I really can't do anything. I, I'll spend two for money. There. Um, I've got one movement there and one movement that's two. Wait, why are you moving if you're going to shuffle next turn? I'm just trying to, well, I, mean, I, can, I could just get rid of them, I guess. Well, you're teleporting next turn, aren't you? I could also... Hold on. Yeah, well, no, I have to discard. I have to make sure that I discard down to... Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to get rid of a curse. I'm going to play that and just get rid of that one. And that should be it. Why, then, you, why would you have to make sure to do Because that? I have to draw... In order for me to shuffle these into this, I need... Oh, you have to draw up to four. Four. That's and I've right. got five, so That's I need right. to get rid of some okay. before that happens. Yeah, because you lose health otherwise. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm done. I got my artifacts, and it wasn't great, but I got my artifact. You should move your person up a little more. <laughs> why? It's like right off the thing. It's fine. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's just weird looking. You say so. All right, so I have my hand is here and this is my discard. So what I need to do it, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it was fucking Really? <laughs> discard. All right, so I'm going to discard some cards into my discard pile. Um, I don't want these two. All right, so that means I've got three. And now, because I have none left, I draw up to four, can't do it. 
shuffle everything back into. Mm -hmm. What about you? You're gonna draw four mm -hmm. cards? Yeah. Is this clean up? Yes, it is. Okay. How much health did that did that guy have? Say what? This guy, the the monster. He has um eight, uh, he has four. You need sixteen damage to kill him. Okay. Which is pretty crazy. All right, I have to draw back up. Okay, so I've got my four. All right, um, return to San Andreas if shuffled, which I did. Um, and then monster moves towards San Andreas, which is here. Nasty. If given a choice, he moves the shortest distance. Yeah. All right, so this comes back over to me. I will draw my two for improvise. That's tempting. Um, I might actually, I'll keep that one and discard that one. And these refresh. All right, encounter. I'm in town. I will take, um, you know what? I'm gonna go to the shop and buy some ammo. Um, I need, let's see, ammo is what? One a piece. So I'm gonna buy six bullets back up to my maximum. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna use two to increase my threshold and then an additional one to bring. Okay, so I'm out of money, but I have seven bullets now. All right. Um, what are you gonna do? I'm thinking just what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm still doing the improvised step. Alright, you said he was 16? Yep. Hmm. Um, okay. I got it. I think. Alright, I'll trash this one. Alright. Okay. Alright, um, so you still have to do your event. Yes. Which is, you're on, is this a ruins? Yes, that is a ruins. After investigate, investigating and securing the ruins, you make camp a breathe. Uh, you make camp and breathe a much-needed sigh of relief. For once, it seems like nothing of consequence will strike you. So nothing happens to you. As a monster looms over me. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's funny. It's coming after you. Yeah. All right, action phase. Let's see if I can get to that sucker. Um, oh man. I have Horus to draw three cards. I would One, try. two. I think I, maybe we'll see. All right, so I need to spend two movement, mm -hmm. and I get to draw a card. Wow. Um, so that would be one, two. I have to spend a combat, so I'm gonna tap my hat, my exhausted. Um, then how much is it? To, I need two movement to move there. Um, I've got boots and this train robber cards that's two and it's also one combat i haven't used yet so that's mm -hmm. one combat good job babe um three two 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 <laughs> two and draw a card one and move if i have to spend this i will let's see um, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, um, 14, 1 ammo brings it to 16. So yeah, that's what I need. So I spent 16 ammo, or 16 combat, to shoot this thing Wow, dead. good job. So that's 8 victory points. Um, 8 plus 28 is 36. Yep. Yeah. Look at you beating all these. You've got all those artifacts, though. Yeah. All right, so that's a goner. Um, and that was my action, so I don't think there's anything else left to do. Um, this card, I'm not going to use that. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm, I think I'm done. 
crazy. I've got a lot of draw card cards, yeah, so those are very helpful. Come on, I have to look at something. This is still my hand. That's crazy, bro. All right, it is your action phase. And we're two-thirds of the way done because the next monster that we kill yeah. is it. What the heck am I gonna do? <laughs> um, that's insane. I guess I'll play. Oh, no, I don't even like this card. I'll do this one. Draw two cards? Yeah. Okay. Then. Trash a card from your hand. Is there a card you don't like? I don't know. I like all my cards. I don't like that it asks me that. <laughs> um, hmm. It's pretty messed up if I do Um. I gotta get victory points. Jeez. Okay, I got it. I have to trash something, right? Oh gosh. I can make it trash. I'll trash this. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna put that. This is oh, a yeah. starter card. I'm just gonna put that there. Oh, yeah. That was a redhead card. Yeah. Your poor um, two money. Yeah, the useless two money. All right, so uh, I will move to. Okay. Um. Wait, what is the stuff over there? The wanted, most wanted. Twelve, twelve, fourteen. Expedition. Hmm. Huh. All right, so two up here. One, two. Okay. And I will um do one and curse myself to double it. Actually, I'll just curse this thing. To move more? Alright, so where are you moving? Actually, you know what? I could curse this, right? To draw more cards? To trash another? Yeah. Alright, so one curse, and I'll... You draw two cards? Oh, it has to be from my hand. Yeah, you draw this two thing's... cards and then... No, I don't want to do that one. Alright. I'll do, I'll do this one. Alright. So, another two over here. Okay. But I have that one left over. Okay. Yeah, it's pointless, doesn't matter. What are you going to do there? Take an artifact? Yeah. Alright, okay. so which one is it? I'll just take this one. Uh, it looks like dual revolvers. Mm -hmm. The twins. The Three attack, two ammo, whenever you play it. I like the art of that card, it's really cool. And six victory points. See, you're going to win with these artifacts. Yeah. I can't... You have one, two, three artifacts, don't you? I have one artifact. Oh, one. Whatever, same thing. <laughs> like, you're going to win with the artifacts, I think. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy. Um, I think that's all I can do, right? I suppose. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything else, really. I guess I'll just have to play this and get two bullets. Okay. Oh. Or you can keep it for later. Yeah, I actually might keep it because I have this and I can just have one bullet. Okay. And that is, I guess. It's rough. <laughs> Alright, so that should end that action phase. 
So now we discard and draw back up. Um, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna keep this and draw three. I'm gonna discard that and draw three as well. Two, three. That's not too bad. Okay. Um, return to San Andreas if shuffled. Did you shuffle at all? No. no? All right. Move monster moves. Okay, so that's it. So this goes over to you. Mm -hmm. And now you... Encounter? Oh, yeah. Well, out of all of these, I'll take that one. Um, Alright. My turn? Uh, for encounters. Oh, yeah, it's your turn. So, is that a, a cursed spot or no? Yeah, yeah expedition? it is. Of course it is. <laughs> Three movement, evade, and improvise again this turn. Three fight, or three combat, fight in the pit, trash a card in your hand, or discard pile. Or get knocked out, one health. Let me see. Three fight, trash a card in your hand, or discard. So basically, three movement to move again. And improvise. Mm -hmm. Or That's what I mean, to improvise, yeah. Three combat. What's the most wanted again? <laughs> oh god, I know, I know you're getting 12, 12, 14. I'm so sorry. It's like I need to look at rewards location and the thing. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. Okay. Alright, so for this, I will... Um, I will... Damn. <laughs> I will fight in the pit, I guess. For three combat? <sighs> that lets you trash a card in your hand or discard. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll discard it. Yeah. So for three... Okay. For three combat. So spend... Oh, that's so wasteful. No, I'll just get knocked out. I don't care. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> I don't care. It's fine. My is desert, I think. Yeah. Um, on your travels, you've been methodically tracking your bounty, and she knows she's just a little further ahead. If you pick up the pace, you would likely catch her. Improvise again this turn. Otherwise, you can always catch her. So I can spend two movement, if I wanted to, to improvise again. Oh, nice. Um, the question is, do I want to? Um, yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and spend my two to improvise again. So I'm going to take two cards. One, two... I will take this one. It goes away. All right, that's this card. Okay, so that's done. All right, it is your action phase. Okay. Oh shoot! Forgot to. This card. Yeah. Sorry. All right. For my action phase, I want to discard a card from your hand to draw two cards. Okay. So I'm gonna discard this one. Okay. But you draw. discarded this? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it should go into your pile. Oh, gosh. And two. Okay. Dang it, bro. <sighs> That's annoying. All right. Um. Okay. I'll do this. I'll move two. Go here. I have two attack. So that should negate one. Okay. I move. Actually, wait, hold on. Move three. So one, two, three. So I get a curse. Okay. So I'm now cursed. Cursed again. And you have to spend a curse to prevent yourself from taking damage. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise you die. Yeah. Um, then I'll do... Two. 
one and do that thing. Okay. And one more to move over there. Not, okay. To Santa Augusta. Okay. And that uses up the final attack here. All right. Um. Now for your action. For my action, what's my wanted? What's the bounty for Santa Santana? Fourteen attack. I mean, you can use your ammo. I did, yeah. It's not gonna help. Wait, can I use it per? Yeah, you can keep using it. Oh! So minus two for five, minus two. Only ten. That only gives you five hits. Yeah, that's good. Because you're on the three space. So you go down oh. to one and get five. Well, no, wait, hold on. Did I use this? I think I did, didn't I? I don't remember. That's fine. Um, What I can do, yeah. I'm gonna use this, it'll bring, yeah, okay. So how about this then? I want to attack that guy, right? Yeah, but you can't... Look, minus two, right? For five. And then plus three, plus two more. Okay, that's fine. Right? Yeah. So that's eight. And then another minus two, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. And how much did you need? Fourteen. All right, so that. Okay. Your fang. Okay. Yeah. So you that's another curse. <laughs> All right, so you got uh, six points and one health as a reward. Cool. Nasty. Then he was in the cursed. Hmm. He was cursed, right? The cursed guy. What do you mean, cursed guy? On the top, the top left of the card. No. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, Santa! I keep forgetting last scene. Okay, that's fine. Was there another enemy there? That was seven points? Um, yeah, the one I'm going after. What? I think that might have been the one that I was supposed to go after. That's okay. Where's he at? Curse? Expedition. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I should have just stayed there! I was so stupid! You didn't say anything because you. Knew. I don't know what you're doing. You've got. Look at your tableau. You I don't know knew. what this. Look at oh, all this. That's so stupid. I should have just stayed there. That is so dumb. Your mess. Clean up your mess. Can I go now? You stayed quiet the whole time. I, don't, I can't read your mind. I don't know what you're doing. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. This is why I need those cards here so I could constantly look at sure. them. Sure. I can't believe I did that. That is so annoying. All right. All right. I'm going to use this card to move and this card to move. That's two. <laughs> the one I'm going after. <laughs> Minus one curse, which I don't need anything. Okay, so I got one combat, another three cards, four, five, six. <laughs> I got six. And then I could draw more if I get a curse. Um, sure. One, two, three. So I get a curse. All right, so there's one minus one curse. I'll take it. So mm -hmm. I'm back down to zero. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven. So with seven, I need 12. So I'm gonna do, um, let's see. I could use this to double. I'm gonna use a curse to double my three. So that's another three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Um, if I did that right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, nine, ten. Okay, and then I need twelve. So what I could do is I could spend one mm -hmm. bullet to get two. So that's twelve. That's awesome. So that is seven victory points. <sighs> this guy. Uh, 36 plus 7 is 43. Mm -hmm. Alright, and the new monster is the Mountain View. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> He's so far from me. Alright, so this guy is a goner. And that leaves this card, which I'm not going to use. Okay, so I get... All can, of... can you get expeditions, I mean artifacts... Again, after you got the first one, or no? I don't think. You no, can. you can't get two of the same color. Yeah. You've got one of each, oh, so yeah. you're, you're done. That's right. Yeah. Good job. You're artifact out. <sighs> oh well. <laughs>
Up to four? Uh, yeah, I'm out of cards, so I teleport back there. Wow, dude, that's insane. Am I out of cards? Do you, well, <laughs> you have four in your hand, do you not? Dang it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> that stings. Oh. Okay, well, let's... Am I first player? Um, you... No, uh, I think you're first player now. Yeah, but, okay. So now we have to improvise. Mm -hmm. One, two. I will definitely take that one. That may have just saved me. Dang it! We'll see, I don't know. <laughs> get the same two cards, man. What are you talking about? Same stupid two cards. That... Oh, gosh. Hold on. Ugh. Um. My OCD is messing with me right now. Oh, my God. Por favor. Okay. Um, did you improvise? <sighs> yeah, I guess. All right. I will. I'm gonna go to the store and buy. Is it the encounter? Oh, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, my encounters first. I'm in town. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna saying. spend my two money for two bullets. I'm maxed out. <laughs> um. You are in a cursed town. Mm-hmm. All right. Three movement. Track it and when, when, when Digo tracks. Three movement. Track it and move to Santana, which you're already on. Oh, my God. Prepare three food or three money, which you don't have. Prepare to fight <laughs> or turn the other way minus or plus one curse. I can't do anything else. Yeah. Unless I unless you them. spend three movement and move to the same location you're on. <laughs> How badly do you want that curse? It's fine. I don't care. All right. So we did our. We did that right. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if I can reach it and kill it. We'll see. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to. Yeah. Two movement and draw a card. Those so items are so good. One, two. Um, so I need to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. This is plus one movement, minus one curse. Um, so this goes down there. And then as far as health goes, um, actually, you know what, I'm going to, I don't know if I want to spend two or not. I'll just take two damage. Two health. Um, now I'm going to play that. To draw another card. Draw a card. Wow. All those draw cards. One movement plus my boots is two, which is one, two. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm going to play the rest of my attack cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need twenty. So I need to do four shots. But you needed the two here, right? When you moved. I took two hits. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm going to take four bullets, that's eight. One, oh, two, wow. three, four. And that's eight plus 12 is 20. Wow, good job. You and, and your math. Well. Your draw card cards. I've only ever seen two of those, but they constantly tell me to trash or discard. 10 points that's is rough. 53. Nice. Oh, gosh, those monsters are killing me. That's the end of the game. Oh, is we it? Complete, well, we complete the round, okay. and then that ends the game. Does. Oh. There's nothing else for me to do, so I'm done. Mm -hmm. And it's my, is it my turn? It is your turn. What else, what is, what is victory Get victory points, points for every, How? well, do a wanted thing, if you can. What you, would earn me the most? This is the desert, this is two points, this is a curse, this is five. Five? How much is, does he need? Twelve. Twelve damage. You've got, you've got bullets, right? No? Okay. Well, I have one right here. There you I'll go. Tap. There. So that's five attack.
plus whatever you got in your oh hand. Oh my gosh. Eight. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's insane. D is there any point loss for being cursed or anything like that? Not that I saw. Wait, hold on. How much... You can only do one action. I know, I know, I know. I'm so just, I'm, it's I'm trying to calculate. Four. Five is the highest you can get from this. Uh, so is much? there is there anything Twelve. else? That... No, I have eight total. Eight attack. How much is that other guy? Two points. Six. He's two points. He's worth the desert space is here. No, here. Um, how, wait, what's his attack? Like, how, what's his hit points? Six. He needs six. And how much is his victory points? Two points. Oh. And four money. Maybe I'll just do... Maybe this one. Well, you can only flip it once. Okay. Six points and four money. You can do, you can do a combat twice over there on the wanted. Yeah, but he's a desert, right? That guy over there? Yeah, he's a desert. Which, the map legend, where's the deserts? That would be... It would be all of... Is it that one too? That's a that's a ruin. Oh. What about next this to This is it? a desert. That's a desert? Okay. So one, two, two four two. movement and two attack to get there. You could just take two, well... Well, no, here's the thing. I can, if I get my curse down, I I have a passive that makes me fight adj to adjacent uh, okay. spots. So if I get one hit, right, I take one hit, I move three, and I'll land on that place. All right, so one, two, three, yeah. one attack. You need to give yeah, up. Yeah, I did already. Okay. You took one hit. I did. I took one hit. All right. And I can use this card to minus two. Okay. Um, Does that mean you're still cursed? I'll trash this card for minus four. One, two, three, four. All right. And now I can flip it. Oh, but he hits less. How much did that need again? This is six. six. Okay, so, so yeah, I could do it. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. I'll have to go. trash. Actually, no, I don't need you to. You don't trash need to. It. Four, five, six. So give up an ammo or two ammo. Yeah, that's fine. And that is two points and four money. <laughs> Big deal. One, two, three, four. All right. Is there anything else we can do before we end it? Yeah, that's it. <gasps> Hold on, wait. One more thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move four. Well, where to? You have a job that you can do? Like, you can't take any more actions. You don't know me, bro. Okay. One, two, three. Wait, no. Where was I? Over there. One... Two, three, four, right. I'll double that again to move four and take another curse. So it's two curses. And do one, two, three. Oh, I can't get to you. You can't rob. It's an action. You already spent an action killing that guy. Yeah. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so. <laughs> I know, I know. I was just wanting to say. I don't think we need to, well. How much do your artifacts add up to? I wanted to see if I could uh, just give you a hug. That's all. I see. My artifact was worth... I have one artifact. So you might still win this. I, I have. Know. It's worth two points. So you could still... And it's just... It's 15. 15? Mm -hmm. You could actually... This, this could be it. No. 15 plus 35 is 50. Mm -hmm. And then jobs and brownies? We've already counted those. Uh, we do the bounce. We did the jobs, and that as we did them. Oh. Do you have any leftover jobs that you didn't do? No. No. All right. Me neither. Oh wait, I forgot the seven here. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah. So, so the, an additional seven. seven. You won. Oh god. By two points. By two points, dude! You were killing those monsters left and right. That. Okay, now can I talk about the game? Yes, I'm sorry. Well, no. You you frustrated? All right, let's just let's just take a step back and look at this. I destroyed three super monsters and I still lost. I think the balance is off in this game. <laughs> but look at all these. I traveled around the world.
world. I get that. <laughs> I understand. But at the same time, like, you picked up four artifacts. I, I got one artifact and killed three super mutants. How much were those super mutants? And I lost because the one artifact I did get was really low in, in victory points. You know what I mean? Mm. So, I don't know. Like, this game isn't bad. A, it went on too long. Yeah. B, the rulebook is terrible. Things are so out of place in this. There is no reason to have the... There is no reason to have the getting critically wounded part of this in the set up your characters section. It should be somewhere in the gameplay when you're talking about combat or anything. You know, it, it should be in there somewhere, in my opinion. Um, it's just things in this rulebook are out of order. I've reread it several times, and every single time I found something new that I wasn't expecting to be there. Um, no table of contents. Again, this, this legend in the back didn't help us at all. I was expecting it somewhere, like, under a component section. Like, here's the component section. One game board. Why wouldn't you put the map legend with the box component stuff to show that this is what the board game, this is what the board looks like. These are, these are the icons on here. No, you've got it in the back somewhere. Map legend. Right after ending the game. Right before the variants. So, like, I, this is out of place, and some things in here were not explained well enough to my liking. That being said, I like the idea of it. I like that every character has different deck building, um, uh, like a, a different deck. I like that they have different strengths and weaknesses. I like the the curse is a nice idea, but here's the thing. You were consistently cursed, and I didn't feel like the curses did enough to you. Yeah, I actually felt that like too, what, too. Like, what's the point of being cursed? I if, died once, and but my still, health was always low. I know, but all you have to do is spend one movement to negate that. Like, there should be, like, if you're cursed, you should be, like, only be able to move so much per turn or maybe only draw a hand size of two instead of four or maybe you automatically lose one health every turn until you get yourself back on your feet. Yeah. The, the curse does nothing in this game. Like, it, it, the effects are so minuscule that, like, you were constantly cursed. I was constantly good, but I didn't see any benefit. Whereas you, yeah. you actually became stronger. You actually became yeah. stronger with your curse because your bullets hit for she one. She has, she has like a lot of curse cards, a lot of curse, um, like double curse and all that. Yeah. And there were so many moments where you could have robbed me and wiped me out, and I was so nervous. That I, I'm not that kind of player though. I'm not. Yeah. I wanted to win because I. I think her character. You need to rob her character. Like, I think her character is all about getting cursed mm -hmm. and getting stronger as cursed, but always with her health being low, and people need to rob her or do something to mitigate all that, you know? Yeah. I'm curious. I'm curious to see... How many How many wanted things did you do? Wanted? Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, the bounties, you mean? Yeah, how many bounties? Four. See, I did one, two, three, four, five, six. That includes three of the super. Mutants. So I, I did more killing, more rustling than you. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I, I'm simply balance. saying the balance, the balance yeah. seems off to me. Yeah. This... I expect that if I killed three super mutants, I'd butter darn win this game, <laughs> because I, I did a lot of cleaning up in this town. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whereas all you, you picked up. That was the road. You got lucky. And I picked did. up a lot of high-value artifacts. I did. Just these three alone was 29 points. No, 19 points. Sorry. That's what I mean. Like, you got... And my artifact was worth two. So it's like... It's you, a lot of RNG. Too. There was there was some RNG. And I'm like, well, I was consistent. I killed a lot of stuff. You got lucky with your artifacts and got a lot of points. Yeah. I, I don't had, like that. I only had one stupid item. I couldn't get any money. It was a big handicap. Mm-hmm. So, what did you think of this? Did you like it? I surprisingly like the game. I you do? really do. I think yes, the balance could definitely be reworked. I love the art. I like. I didn't know it was a comic book thing. Now it kind of makes me want to read the comics. The art is good. I mean, the the cover of this rule book alone is awesome. Yeah, and I actually love the rule book. I do. I don't like. I hate. I I hate that it's all out of order. Like the you board, said. yeah. Well, the board too. The iconography. I don't like. Why is the cursed area blue here, but this is not shaded blue? So yeah. this looks like a regular ruin. All this, of these corners. And this are is right. named Ruins of Palinc, whatever it's called. Yeah. 
And why why is it called ruins, but it's yet it's a cursed spot? Yeah. So like the the design decisions behind this should have gone through some more Q and A. They made it way too confusing. And I the rule book was equally as confusing. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. I hate the back of the cards. I think the back of the cards should have been um, a little bit thought out. Like they're all the same. I wish there was something to. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I understand it because you don't want the other player to right. see it. And it's just, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> and it doesn't say anywhere in the rule book about where to spend. If you're in the shop spending, like on the back, it says upgrade prices. But nowhere else in the rule book could I find those upgrade prices. It should. If you're going to put it on a reference guide quick reference then it should be somewhere else in the rule book but it's not yeah, it's not it that should, i can it should, see it should tell you it should really spell it out for you whether or not it should be repeated or shop action works, yeah right or whether this is an either or action it's like the developer when he made this game expected you to read his mind and go oh yeah that's how it's played yeah. i emailed him er, uh, earlier today in the rule book mm -hmm. when you're setting up the game you have these 90 upgrade cards Nowhere in the setup does it tell you to shuffle that deck. So I'm sitting there thinking, do I need to sort out these cards in a special way? Or are they shuffled? What? So I, I emailed him and he said, yes, you need to shuffle them. So, like, that's not anywhere in your setup. The rule book definitely needs to be organized. It's beautiful. It's, 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 it's beautiful. I like the art. The easy to read. I it's like easy it. to read, but it's lacking key information and it's not very well organized. Mm -hmm. That, if any casual gamer family were to play this, they would chuck this out the window. There's no way they yeah. could play this. Yeah. No way. Not, it, a, not a casual gamer family. It's too frustrating to get a handle on, and by the time you do kind of get a I handle on I was getting it, frustrated with it. Yeah. With some of the, some of the design decisions. Mm -hmm. That being said, I like it. Like, I like the game. I like what it tries to do, but its execution was poor. Would you play it again? With modified rules. Okay. I think the curses need to mean more. Yeah. Like, if you're going to be constant, you're cursed for half the game, you should be dying a lot more as a cursed person, or you should be maybe losing a victory point every turn for every turn that you're cursed. Mm -hmm. Some Something to, you know, you had no consequences at what? all. Yeah, I did. If I didn't that one it. movement, big deal. She doesn't go by a lot of movement. So I was picking like a ton of cards. Right, but you can mitigate that with with your mm -hmm. right. And there's RNG. There's no market. Yeah. So there's some RNG in what card you draw. It was yeah. It was equally frustrating. Like not picking good cards. Yeah. It was rough. Like sometimes I had too much movement. Sometimes I had too much attack. Like it didn't mesh well. What was your cursed side for Jebediah? Um, which I never saw because I'm good like that. <laughs> Um, penalty. Reshuffling your deck doesn't return you to San Andreas, but instead suffer one health damage. See, you can't mitigate that, right? Yeah. What? Well, yeah. except for not re I also have less attack strength. So I want to stay good as Jebediah. Whereas yeah. you, you she wanted to, you, you, you were actually stronger cursed. Honestly. <laughs> He's so mad at that. Well, I just, I just think it's, if it's intended, fine. But at the same time, there if should be... If it's intended, the penalty should have been a little bit worse, honestly. Right. You actually became... Your your damage became stronger with the curse yeah. side. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh boy, whoop de do One movement. One, yeah. You got that... Like, you got so many cards after a while that you got move. It, yeah. So, I like the game. I do. It's just poor execution. Um, I like the individual players and their individual decks. I like the jobs. I like the shop. I like... You know, the, the wanted system. Everything, that and the miniatures, nice. The art is great, but the backbone of it needs work. Mm -hmm. That's where I draw it. And I would not play this again until that were addressed. Hmm. House rule, something. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah. I, I liked it, honestly. Um, I think I would play it again, honestly. Um, okay. I would probably be a different character just to see how different it would be. Um, trying not to get cursed and try because being cursed was really hard not to do. So I'm very curious as to how how it would feel. Mm. You know? Another character is like rich. He can get a lot of money easily. Yeah, that's one of his abilities is just get a lot of money. 
So what is Jebediah's ability? Jebediah was uh, swap jobs. So what, maybe what I could have done is got some really nasty jobs and swapped with you as my... But that was my action for the turn. Mm. It, would, it would have costed me my action, whether it be wanted or killing a monster. Yeah. Like, I was either screw you for a couple of points or go after big targets and That's make up. What if... But I didn't even have any jobs. Like, these are the only ones I finished. I finished them early on and I... Refused right. to even have another job, yeah, so, so that's kind of messed up. Yeah, that, yeah, his ability was kind of lackluster, in my opinion. Yeah, these abilities could definitely use a little work, honestly. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to discourage the developer. It's still a good game, it's just... It needs... I liked it. I liked the quality. I like. I didn't even mind the cubes. I think some people would call them the, these cards flimsy, the board kind of flimsy. I don't think they're flimsy. I think they're really nice looking. Um, they don't... Does, do these look like they would wear and tear? Yeah, they, they're pretty decent quality, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think they're okay. Um, I love the art of the map. I just hate that it's The iconography is off. Yeah, I, I don't like Again, that. shaded green, not shaded at all. This says ruins, but yet it's a cursed spot. Yeah. It d doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I, just no common sense. Yeah. But, but I, I liked it. I think I, I would totally play And this again. water is currency. I get it's a desert and water is needed. You, but didn't, you didn't need the, the money bags. No. Like. No, well, no. Instead of just water, just coins. Why water at all? I didn't. I like the water. I think the water was nice. But when I you go to a store, <laughs> when I go to Shop and Save or Giant Eagle and pay for my groceries, I don't pay in water. I pay in money. Well, maybe back in the time they paid. Maybe in the comic books they paid in water. Because they don't have enough water, it's in the desert. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. I don't think they needed the coin signal if that were the case. I, mm. I think the coin signal could have been erased. Yeah, well. <laughs> the few and the cursed. It's a mixed bag for me, but I'm not going to you know, beat a dead horse. I say I give this a thumbs up. Okay. I, th I thought it was actually pretty decent. Even if I lost by those two points, I would have given it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Natalie. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.